Good morning, everybody. I just washed my shirt in the sink. I took off all of the things from the bike because I don't want this tipping over as much, but we really, really need to get this fixed because this is just falling apart. I'm not sure if we're gonna get this fixed or if we're just gonna replace the bike rack itself and attach it to the poles because the poles are actually holding strong. I'm looking on Google Maps for bike stores right now. Google says it's five minutes away by car, so that means it's probably like seven minutes away by bike. And here we are, look at that, it took less than five minutes. I do need to find somewhere to lock this up though. This signpost will do. We will be fast, so we've just gotta investigate what kind of bike racks they're selling. Okay, so the bike racks that they have, this would go onto the bike, the back of my wheel, and this would go onto like probably the front. But because I've got such big tires, I'm not sure if this would even fit. Do you have bigger? You know what, we'll get it. I'm sure we can make this work, we're creative. It seems much stronger than my last one. Okay, we will figure out how to make it work. I'm pretty sure the next thing we need is a tent. Let me figure out how I'm gonna stick this on my bike to carry it around. I think we're just gonna stick it under the existing bike rack and use bungee cables to hold it down. I'm like halfway confident that'll hold, probably. Let's find some shade and then find a tent store. I don't even know what kind of store sells tents. I've always bought my tents at Walmart. Let's go. Okay, I found an outdoor sports store that's about a mile away. We'll be there in like eight minutes. God damn, this is so much easier than if I was trying to walk to all of these places. I love this bike so much. I'm intentionally staying behind them even though I could cut through the lane because I don't want to be unpredictable. Lane splitting is such a stupid thing to do. Perfect, there we are, found it. Bike racks like this always annoy me because my tires are too thick to fit inside the holes. So, trash can it is. We'll be quick. It's called Inner Sport. It's bigger than my last one, but it will probably do. The tent is somewhere in the neighborhood, I think of like 40 bucks, maybe $50. I just hope it'll fit on my bike with the rest of my stuff. I gotta take pictures of all my receipts for tax purposes. It's not very stable, but hopefully this will hold till we get back to the apartment. I've gotta think if there's anything else we wanna do while we're here in a big city, because once we hit the road again, we won't have an opportunity for a while. Actually, on second thought, there are restaurants here. We could get some food while we're in town. Rather than locking up the bike, I'm just gonna set it here and then we'll sit in that seat right there so we can just keep an eye on it. Apparently this, called, this place is called the Green Cafe. Looking at their menu, I don't think they sell food here. I think they only sell drinks. People keep messaging me on Instagram asking if they can meet up with me and like take me out for drinks or something. No, no thank you. I got an orange juice. It's less than $2 for a drink at a downtown cafe like this. Orange juice, fresh orange juice, less than $2. So they don't actually sell food there, so I guess we'll get breakfast somewhere else. We're gonna head back to the apartment and get this rack put together, um, because I really hope it fits. I'm stopping at the same grocery store we had dinner at yesterday, just because it's close to the apartment and I know that it's fast. I'll just get some of these mini croissants. And hey, look at that, the bungee cords worked. Nothing fell off. They're basically croissants filled with pudding. They're pretty good. Let's go head somewhere to the shade and get this new rack attached. I think I can probably make this work. My only concern is that I've sort of super glued all of the bolts together. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it apart. Yeah, I used high strength red thread locker and super glue. So getting these things off is gonna be fun. Got to undo all of the bungee cables. Luckily, I do have some tools that might help with this in my repair kit. <laughs> I think the bolt is coming off. There we go, good. I was worried that these things would be permanently stuck on. With those off, all we're left with is these front pegs and this back right here. We're gonna stick this on like this, and we're gonna use the front pegs. We're gonna adjust the height so that they fit this guy. Then we're gonna use the old mounting brackets from the last rack to hook up the new rack. Then we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna expand them up because they're expandable and we're gonna have them meet the new rack. There we go, look at that, she is installed. The only potential problem I see with this is it's taller than my last one, so its center of gravity is even higher. That means more likely to tip over than it was earlier when it was tipping over three times a day. While I was at that bike shop, I should have looked into getting a better kickstand. And the tent should fit in here no problem because of that extra space, yep, perfect. Let's go take her inside, load her up and see how everything fits. But luckily for us, because of the extra height, we can take the sleeping bag and we can stick it inside now so it doesn't need to be on the top over here. This might actually lower our center of gravity and make sure everything is super snug inside here. That could, that could work really well. Here we go. This is what she looks like fully loaded. And she's definitely a chonker. Okay, let's go drive it around a bit, see how she feels. Everything feels very firmly attached. It doesn't wobble too much like this. 
It feels just like the last one did. I believe the only thing left on our agenda for today is to do laundry. I've got that bag of laundry in my pannier pack. Let's go find a laundromat. A bunch of people are upset in my last video because I keep saying that I left Europe when I'm in Serbia. It's important to know that in America, at least for me, European Union and Europe are synonyms in the same way that you would say you're going to America, even though you mean you're going to the United States of America. America is a continent like Mexico, Canada. Those are part of America. But you say America, you mean United States. When I say Europe, I mean European Union. It's the same thing. It looks like none of the laundromats are open right now. They open at 1 p.m. And it looks like they're not normal laundromats where you just like bring your clothes, wash them yourself. You have to like drop them off and somebody will wash them for you. So I think I might take up the owner of that apartment on her offer to wash my laundry for me. I think that means I accomplished all of my goals for today. I would go find a restaurant and go sit down and eat, but honestly, big cities like this scare me because I'm worried that my bike is gonna get stolen. I'm perfectly fine in small towns and like rural villages because it's small, but places like this is where bikes get stolen. And if I'm away from my bike for like 15, 20 minutes, my bike is pretty valuable. I don't want it getting stolen. But if we order food delivery, it looks like we can get some pizza or some hamburgers. Ooh, yes, these hamburgers look good. I think there's a miscommunication because it looks like they're trying to charge me $600 for a burger. <sighs> okay, update. They're not trying to charge me $500 for a burger. In this country, they use commas and periods differently. So when they say they want 840,000 things, they actually mean they want 840 and they just add a bunch of zeros with a comma because they can. Now we wait. I just got the notification that says our food is here. Ah, oh, hello, yes. Have a good day. Okay, we got food. Yes, so this is only like $7, not 700. This is pretty good. The crazy thing to me about this is the price. This was like $7 delivered to my door. That means you can get a full meal, hot cooked on like a grill every day for less than it costs a Subway sandwich in America. What I'm interested in right now is possibly going back to that bike shop, maybe tomorrow, and getting a dual leg kickstand. Rather than having one kickstand that causes my bike to fall over, I'll flip one out when it's got two legs on it and it'll just hold my bike there. It will probably stop my bike from falling over entirely. I'm just not sure if I have the ability or the tools to actually install a new kickstand. So we'll have to figure that out. Sorry for this. No, totally fine, it's totally fine. Wait. Uh, it does have a washing machine. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and set the tent up inside just so we have practice setting it up. So that in the future, if it's dark outside, we already know where everything goes. Look at this, it's got the tent part and a rain fly. Oh, fuck that tent. Oh, it's complicated. You know, I'm glad I'm doing this now because this would be not fun to try to figure out in the dark. Okay, so it uses a little three pole membrane right here, and then we just attach the tent to this. Um, that does not look right. Okay, yes, this works. I can, I can live with it. It's kind of flimsy. This tent feels so over-engineered. Like, why do you need three zippers to get into your tent? Like, find a way to make it work with one zipper. This tent will almost certainly not be as wet as the last one. We accomplished everything we needed to do for today. Uh, we got the bike rack fixed, we got a new tent. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just relaxing watching TV because my body is still super sore from the trip. My legs feel like spaghetti. Um, I have this place for one more night, so I think tomorrow we're gonna go explore the city, we might go to some bars, play around with the nightlife. Then again, I'm still worried about my bike getting stolen, so I'm not sure if that's true. Good morning, everybody. We are on the road again. It's six o'clock in the morning, and we have about 350 miles to ride before we get to the bottom of Serbia. But while we're on our way there, we are gonna go visit a tower made out of human skulls. I know it sounds morbid, but we're gonna go visit it. I do wanna show you guys something before we hit the road because I was able to fix my kickstand. Watch this, check this out. I'm gonna throw the kickstand up and look at how not wobbly it is. It turns out my kickstand has a bolt on the back of it right here. Let me see if I can show you this. And you're able to unscrew that bolt and you're able to change the length of the kickstand. So I just made my kickstand longer. All of my problems are fixed. How cool is that? Looking at my planned route, it'll take us about nine days to get to Kosovo. It feels great to be back on the bike. Hopefully it's early enough that we can get through most of the bad traffic on the way out of the city. Damn it, I left my smartwatch in the apartment and I left my keys in there because I was checking out. So I don't know how I'm gonna get back in there. God damn it. So I think we're just gonna wait here until somebody comes out of the door. 
I even made sure to carry my laptop in with me in the door so that they would think that I'm like actually living here rather than just somebody waiting in the front of the door trying to get in. Ah, oh. there we go. I wonder if I would have been able to do that if I was black. Let's go ahead and try this again. We're off. See, look at how cool this is. We are in a major city and there is no traffic. I do pedal. I don't even have pedal assist on at all right now. This is entirely just my own legs doing this. Hey, look at that. They've got a big box store. Rota Mega. I didn't see any stores like that when I was in the European Union. I should probably invest in sunglasses. Just like we gotta pull over. My chain is doing weird things. Oh no, my bag, it fell and it got caught on the teeth of the... I've gotta find a way to make sure that my bag stops touching the chain. I just realized we have not actually eaten yet. You guys know the drill. We're not locking up. We're just gonna be fast. <laughs> they don't have a lot of food, so we're just gonna get the drink. This is $1.28. I'm gonna start giving you guys a running tally up there so you guys can see how much we're actually spending and how much this actually costs. But $1.28 is ridiculously expensive. I'm glad we're not getting food here because I don't wanna give them any more business. I'm gonna show you guys something before we leave the city. I think we're gonna be riding along this lake for a while. Oh my God. So now that we're out of the main city, all of the roads are just like one lane. So all of the cars, they need to like go off into the side of the road to pass each other. And if you're a bike, you're getting run off the road like every fucking time a car passes. Two lanes, Rhodes needs two lanes. Let's go. My app is telling me to come this way, but there's a bar that's stopping things from, I'm not sure if this is private property or not. We're gonna do it anyway. Like in reality, what are they even gonna do? If this is private property, I will be off this track before the police are able to get here. So there's really no way to enforce this. It does have a pretty view of a river though. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Yeah, never mind. There's bees. Come here. I want to show you something. Do you see all of these glass shards right here? There's glass all over the side of this. This is why you fill up your tires with slime because my tires could have just popped right now, but they didn't. They're fully inflated because I took precautions. Yeah, there's glass all over this path, actually. I'm going to do my best to avoid it still. We are now stuck behind traffic. And I'm not brave enough to try to pass them on this two lane street because they're going pretty fast the other direction. Okay, we have a slight problem. My backpack flew off. Get back here. God damn it. Okay, luckily my laptop's not in this and it's in that. If my laptop was in this, could have been devastating. This is a fast fucking road too. And I don't think those dogs are on a chain. God damn it. Okay, I got the bag reattached. Now we just gotta get back on the road. I'm riding and I just hear this big thump and a screeching sound. God damn, okay. My biggest problem with roads like that, shut up. My biggest problem with roads like that isn't that they're more dangerous. They are, everybody's going faster, there's cars on the road. The problem is that it kills your battery because you need to go faster. You need to go, like, you need to take your throttle all the way, you need to go full speed just to kind of keep up with the other cars. And you can't pedal because your gears aren't fast enough to go 30 miles an hour. So it just murders your battery. I did find a place called the Drive Cafe though. I wonder if they have food. I just wanna show you guys how cool this is. Watch this, kickstand up and it's stable. I guess this is what we're having for breakfast. Yeah. This was $1.85. Let's go ahead and try ourselves some fudge cake. I doubt there are any McDonald's around here for us to charge up the battery, so we might want to just like stop under a tree and use a solar panel. Let's go find a place to charge with the solar panel. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, looking at my Google Maps right here, it looks like we're in a fairly decent sized town. We might be able to actually get some real food. There's a little. I just ate lava cakes for breakfast instead of going to little. We're going to little. 
Oh my God, and there's like legitimate coffee shops. Like, look at this. I'm not sure if you guys can see with the glare, but there's like legitimate coffee shops here. I'm in a great mood. I thought we were in some small little podunk town, but we're in like a somewhat decently sized city. Head northeast toward Peak by Sandora, then turn right onto Peak by Sandora. We're gonna get breakfast. And look at that, they've even got a spot dedicated for locking up big bikes like mine. We might not be in a town that has a little like this for a while, and I don't want to eat lava cakes for breakfast anymore, so let's stock up on supplies. And by supplies, I mean bread. Hot dogs, so we can get protein. Some big bread, just because it looks good. Oh, and look at that, they've got cheesy pretzels. There we go, this should keep us fed for a minute or two. All of this food was $3.98. We've just got to find a place to store it. Let's go ahead and eat one of these hot dog things first. It's basically a roll with a hot dog inside of it, but they're warm right now and they won't be warm later. No, I think I'll get these again. Actually, oh, and they've got cheese. And, oh, real good. I still don't know if I want to go to a coffee shop. I don't have a video to edit and post because I'm still filming it right now. So I'm not sure what I would do at the coffee shop while I'm sitting there waiting for my battery to charge. But I know that my battery will charge much faster if I plug it into a wall than if I try to use the solar panel, so. Um, here we are, this is the cafe I found, it's called Mignon. While we're here, I also wanna check the bag, make sure nothing broke when it fell off. This is a small enough town, I'm sure it'll be fine. We gotta find an outlet. I don't see any outlets. Not a very useful cafe. Yeah, they don't have any electrical outlets. What kind of cafe doesn't let you plug in your laptop? You know what, fuck it, we're just gonna use the solar panel. I don't wanna deal with this. There's a park right here, we can just chill here for the afternoon. Get the bike set up in the sun. Set the solar panels up against the bike. And then we just set the chair up in the shade. Now we just chill here for a few hours. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna set up my tarp and lie down. You're typically supposed to use the tarp underneath your tent to protect the floor of your tent, but this will also work as a perfectly good picnic blanket. Oh my God, check it out. I think there's a water fountain over here. I think we can get free water. Oh, there is. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to drink the water here. I have a water filter. I can filter it. Yes, look at that. Free water. I still have a bunch of Diet Coke left, so we're not going to drink that, but it's nice to know it's there. I'm going to reread The Martian. It's one of my favorite books, but I also feel a lot like him living on my little bike right there with the solar panel. This just feels apt for my life right now. You know what? I really like this town. This is quaint. Are you kidding me? There's Wi-Fi here in this park, and it's not even that bad. Oh my God, this city is amazing. If you guys are ever in Serbia, the place we are in is called Senta. It's like at the top, yeah, Senta. They've got free public Wi-Fi in their parks. I have to keep coming up here and moving my bike because the shade keeps moving on top of the solar panels. And I also put these little sticks here to hold up the edges of this so that the whole panel is facing forward. I could be wrong, but I also think this public park has a bathroom. It seems I am wrong, it's an ice cream shop. It's almost 3 p.m., we can probably hit the road. Okay, we got everything hooked up. I think we're good to go. I actually would have stayed there charging for longer, but God, I need to use the restroom. And I didn't want to like piss on one of their trees. So we're just gonna ride out of town for a little bit. Something like this is what we're looking for. Actually, now we can go ahead and resume solar charging. I wonder if this gas station will let us chill in their parking lot. Well, I'm not really gonna ask for permission. I'm sort of just gonna do it. I wish the whole thing was faster to set up and tear down. That way I could be a little bit more covert, but it does take a solid five minutes to get everything set up and torn back down. Okay, I take it back. That took maybe a hundred seconds. Not too bad. I feel like if we're gonna be loitering in a parking lot, we should order something though. Let's go get something to drink. This was 83 cents. This spot is definitely worse than the last one because there's no free Wi-Fi here, but it is the spot we have, so we're gonna make it work. If you guys see me using any products that you guys want, I have links for this in the description for Amazon purchases if you guys want to get some of the stuff too. We have 260 miles to go before we get to the Skull Tower. It's 4 p.m. and the sun is going down. I think that we are uh, reaching the end of the usual sunlight. So we're just going to unhook this carabiner and then pull it off the brake handle. We can probably get another 20, maybe 30 miles today before we find camp. Let's go.
Okay, pause. We gotta turn around because I saw a person over here selling fruit. Yes. I haven't had most of these fruits in a minute, so I guess a peach. Yes, let's do peaches. Big peach. Grapes too, of course. Oh, be quiet. Ah! Bees! This entire bag of fruit was like $3.50. $3.33 to be exact. Okay, we will stop and eat the fruit later. Let's just uh, head out. That's another benefit of using cash. She definitely would not have accepted a card. Let's crack open that fruit. It might sound a little bit weird, but I am more inclined to wash these than I am the grapes off the vine because I know that human hands have touched this. But on the other hand, I don't have water here, so. That's not ripe yet. Next up, let's try the grapes. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, a little bit sour. Good. Then again, if other people have touched them, maybe they washed them for me. Maybe all the pesticides and whatever are gone. I think they just dumped their trash on the side of the road. Follow this way for 0 0.8 miles. We are currently in a city called Beck Edge. It seems to be a fairly large city. There might be a McDonald's here, which makes me think that maybe I should camp around here for the night so that tomorrow I can just go to the McDonald's, charge up, upload the video, and then bounce. Okay, yes, no McDonald's. Let's find a nice place to camp for the night. That's the third military truck I've seen. I wonder if they're on their way to Kosovo too. I found a side road. Let's see if we can find a place to camp down here. We want it to be somewhere far enough away that like the farmer that owns this property won't see us in the seven or so hours that we're here. Nope, there are definitely people back there. Okay, let's try this dirt road. Having big bulky tires that can handle this kind of terrain is great. Okay, so it turns out there's a whole bunch of dirt clots in this farm. It makes it really hard for my bike to go over the stuff. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think about right here? We can set the solar panel up. Um, I'm a little bit worried because a lot of this tall grass is, I guess it can be pushed down. I doubt we will have any trouble with anybody bothering us while we're here. Pretty sure. I went pretty far off the beaten track. This is why you get the under tarp. So that anything pokey that might break your tent, you just put this on top of it and it protects it. You'll have to replace this potentially, but that's much cheaper than the tent. Oh. It's so hot outside. This solar panel is great. I am super glad I got it. We actually get to try this tent for the first time now. Notice how my bike didn't fall over. How cool is that? One of the cool things about farmland is it's pretty soft, so you can just put these things in by hand. It looks like it has six pegs on each side. Then you put on the little vertebrae, and then I think we just connect the tent to it. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it'll keep me cool because it won't trap all of my heat and moisture in here, so that's cool. Let's go do some more grapes. Yeah, the grass is crunching underneath us. This tent is so much better than my last one. Let me give you guys the rundown of how much we spent today. Today we spent $11.27 on food. Check it out, I have bread. And I have grapes. This is basically what Jesus ate. Well, except I have Diet Coke. This tent is so much nicer. Mix a fan up in here in it, it's fantastic. I love this fan because it's type U or USB type C where I can charge it with the same thing I use to charge my phone. I don't have any cell data here. We have 182 miles left to go before we get to this skull tower. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this video. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. This tent is fantastic. I slept great. It's a little bit cold, which is actually a good thing. We have 180 miles before we get to the skull tower. I kept hearing animals last night inside these woods, kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm not sure if there's any dangerous animals inside Serbia. <clears throat> mm. 
You know, if I'm worried about dangerous animals, I probably shouldn't keep food inside my tent. Do you see how floppy this is and kind of uh, kind of sad and uninflated? It's not because this has a hole in it. It's because hot air is bigger than cold air. I blew this up when it was warm outside and then it got cold and the air is shrunk. So it's not because it has a hole, it's because it's just more dense now. Regretfully, it seems like the mosquitoes are coming out now, so we probably should hurry. And lastly, we just have the tarp. Okay, there we go. Our campsite is put away. Let's go ahead and eat breakfast real fast and then hit the road. I can hear the mosquitoes and they're being mean. For breakfast today, we have a cheese pretzel. Okay, and we are off. We have less than 50% battery and we have more than 20 miles to go before we make it to the cafe. I am honestly not sure if the bike is gonna pull through this time. Okay. Come on battery, don't fail me now. I'm pretty sure that's the Danube River or the same river that we crossed when we first started this trip. Somehow we keep meeting. It does look like the battery is going to make it. There is a herd of cows on the road. Like, I'm not sure if we wait for the cows to pass or if we try to find another route, but there is a lot of cows. Oh look, they've got little puppies helping shepherd the cows. Lots of good little pups. Anyway, let's get this bike charged. I'm not in the right city. The city that I thought I was going to is like nine miles away. Our battery definitely won't make us nine miles. I guess let's go explore this small town and see if there's an outlet we can use. Yeah, she is struggling to accelerate now. She is on her last breath. My top speed used to be 30 miles an hour. Now it's 13. If we can't find a restaurant that'll let us charge, obviously we can just throw the solar panel up, but that's much slower than an outlet. I found a place called NNN Cafe. Let's see if they have outlets. Look at this, I actually found one of those things that my bike tire can fit in. Now let's just see if I can lock it up to that bike rack. Look at that, I could. Okay, here we go, the No Nut Cafe. <laughs> Boom, outlets, there we go. First thing we're gonna do is set up the laptop. That way we look like a worker or a student. Uh, they just kicked us out, they said no laptop. He actually just moved us to, a lap or to an outlet that works. So that's cool. The cappuccino was $1.38. I've got the battery hidden just in case he gets mad. So he only thinks that I'm charging my laptop. Okay, the bike is done charging, we're good. I'm pretty sure there is a little in this town. So we can get food. I am starving, I am so hungry, honestly, Jesus. It took like five hours to charge this thing, which is pretty fast when you consider the, how big the battery is, but five hours without food is just too long. It remains unthiefed. Okay, Google, take me to the nearest little. Are you kidding me? There's not even a little in this town. We have to go to the next town over. That means we've got to break out the sunscreen. I have been craving those hot dogs in a roll from yesterday so much. Those things are so good. It's really windy out here today, which isn't good because I'm pretty sure that will affect our mileage. Okay, Google says that we'll be there in 20 minutes. Food, here we go. God damn it, my backpack fell out again. At least I'm not on like a fast road this time. Mm. God damn, that was a good peach. Okay, I got this guy reattached. We'll have to figure out a more permanent solution later. Because right now I want food. We made it. Of course, my tires don't fit in the locking mechanism, so we're just not gonna lock it. I will turn the bike off and take the key out though. That was somebody dead. What was I just saying about having a good kickstand? Ugh, we can figure this shit out later, I'm starving. I will bring my laptop with me though. Oh, I see so much food, I'm, oh, I'm so excited. We are going to get a bunch of them. We're also gonna pick up a bunch of these pizza roll things. This is an absolutely monstrous amount of food, by the way, in case you can't tell on camera. 
I'm trying to lay these out so it's easier for them to count, but I accidentally ripped my bag. This whole thing was $11.11. .11. I moved them all into the one good bag, and I'm hoping that this bag doesn't rip. Okay, here we go. Let's eat. When we ate these yesterday, they were fresh out of the oven and warm. These are less warm. The wind is ridiculously strong today. Typically, it takes me about two amps to be able to maintain a speed of 16 miles an hour. On the right up here, it was taking almost eight. That means it was four times as much power to get here as it was before. That means our range is probably cut by like 75%. Before we continue riding, we should definitely wait for the wind to die down. It's murdering our range. It's funny, I just realized I got hot dogs and bread and pizza and bread. Like, is there anything more American than that? And look at that, the food fits perfectly inside my pack. Let's go find some shade while we wait for the wind to stop being mean. This'll do for now. Let's take a look at this kickstand. Uh, seems like that is not holding on. I think I got sunscreen in my eye. I just realized I didn't get anything to drink. I'm pretty sure they're trying to sell this orange juice for $3 a bottle. This is a small bottle. I'm not paying $3 for that. This one is bigger though. I'll pay whatever they're asking for this guy. And we're gonna get some super glue. This is always good to have. The juice and the super glue was $3.97. I think we can probably just pull out the chair and wait for the sun to go down. Once the sun goes down, the wind should calm down too. Gotta stave off scurvy. You might think that's a joke, but it's actually not. I try to make sure that I drink orange juice at least once a week because of my diet. Of course, while the sun is out, we might as well take advantage of the free electricity. I am a little bit worried that the wind is gonna use the extra surface area from the solar panel and blow my bike over again. I'm just gonna add this under the footrest to help uh, increase the angle a little bit. Oh no, the wind is already blowing it away. Bungee cables to the rescue. Now let's just see if the little employee people get mad at me. Okay, I'm watching it and I'm worried that the whole thing is gonna tip over. This is not worth it. I can also just let the solar panel chill there on the ground. The wind is just ridiculous today. I just realized it's Sunday today and the grocery store is open. I fucking hate Austria. I actually need to do a little bit of work on my laptop. One of the reasons we're in the little parking lot doing this is because little has free Wi-Fi. See, in the last video, I forgot to actually add all of the Amazon links for the product, so I've got to do that now to this video and the last video. Yeah, I definitely think I got sunscreen in my eye. My eye can't stop watering. Oh, my eye will not stop bothering me. So I'm reading the comments of yesterday's video, and apparently I can get really cheap cell data if I physically go into this place called Yettle. The place that I currently get my data from is like a all countries, you buy an eSIM and it works for everywhere. Paying $35 for 10 gigabytes. So hopefully we can get something cheaper that gives me unlimited data. Let's go see if we can't wrangle ourselves some really cheap data. I feel like I'm in America. I cannot see out of this eye, it's watering so much. It's like a little outlet mall. Here we are, Yedl. This is like Serbian T-Mobile or maybe Serbian Sprint. I am definitely locking up here. Like small gas stations are fine, but I have no idea how long this is gonna take. And there's a lot of foot traffic here. What options do you have? They've got a plan here, 50 gigabytes for about $10. It's crazy. He's gonna be in the next video. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we should have like 50 gigabytes now. I should be able to upload these YouTube videos while I'm camping. God, 50 gigabytes for $10, that is so good. But I believe this means we can hit the road now. It's weird, they didn't even ask for my passport or anything. Normally when you buy a SIM card, they take your passport and they tie the SIM card to the passport. They didn't do that here. Oh, check it out, we've gone 443 miles so far. God damn, riding my bike is impossible. I am just asking to get in a car accident if I keep doing this. We're gonna go look for a hotel in the city. I don't like it, but it's really not safe for me to drive while my eye is just doing this shit. Looks like there is an apartment for $20 a night. I won't lie, I am a tad worried that I booked a hostel or like a bunk bed instead of a full-fledged apartment. I'll be disappointed if that's the case. Follow this way for 850 feet. Apparently we are in one of these buildings right here. Actually, it's this one, and I'm really starting to get some hostile vibes. It's not even unlocked. I'm confused. What the fuck? How do I get in? I think I'm just going to book somewhere else. This is not working for me. I'm not going to wait for them to hopefully maybe get here and let me in. Okay, I just booked one for $28 a night, and it's less than a mile away. I think originally I got sunscreen in my eye, and then that caused me to rub my eye a bunch where I scratched my eye, and now my eye is in a much worse situation because it is just leaking tears. Okay, she just gave me the combination to be able to get into the room. We're good. I'm hitting all of the stupid potholes because I can't fucking see them. Here we are, Maja Way. I swear to God, I cannot deal with this right now. Oh my God. When I get in there and I get a mirror, I need to look at my eye, see how bad it is. 
And then we're room number four. I would use the sink and wash my eye out, but apparently you're not allowed to drink the water here because there's like arsenic in it or something. I don't know if that means I'm not allowed to wash my eye out with it or what. Like, I feel like if you're not allowed to put it in your body, you probably shouldn't put it on your eyes. We do have an outlet though, so I'm gonna go get all of my electronics and charge them up. I should also get a second pair of clothes so we can shower. Okay, there we go. Got everything locked up. We should be good. I am not gonna lie. The bathroom looks a little sketch. Whatever. Shower's a shower. Oh shit, I totally forgot. We are going on bed bug hunts. Oh, I don't like that. I'm tempted to just put my tent up here in the middle and sleep in my tent. I feel so much better. My eye does too, actually. I technically haven't paid for this place yet. The person, they're not here yet. They said they'll be here at like 8 p.m. Technically, I could just leave. Regretfully for my wallet, I am a morally upstanding person. I'm paying $28 for this place. We are using the AC. Oh, look at that, okay. While I was at the store getting my SIM card for this guy, the guy behind the counter, he saw my YouTube channel, he started looking through it, and he says to me, you need a partner, you need, you need somebody to go with you, you need like a girl. There is not a girl alive that would want to live like I do. This is, this is not a fun way to live. I'm keeping my bags up off the floor in case there are bed bugs. I don't want them to get inside my bags. Let's go find something to eat. We're already on a spending spree, so we might as well. This is a big ass door. Maybe I'm just a small ass person. You know, maybe this isn't the best neighborhood. I noticed the place in there had a bunch of CCTV uh, video cameras recording everything. That's not a good sign. Like the more security measures you see, the worse a place is. If you see a place with barred windows, it's not great. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be walking around past like 10 p.m. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts. I've decided that this air conditioner is actually worthless. I believe the people are here so we can pay them. Hello, I have money for you. This place was $27.77. That means in total today we have spent $53.48. Rip. I'm gonna start editing the video. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. My eye feels fantastic, and we only have 180 miles to go before we get to the Skull Tower. Oh, also, I did not get bit by bed bugs, so that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried that my bike might get stolen today. I wonder how long this food will last if I keep it there in my bag. Probably not more than a few days, right? Okay, let's go. I'm not sure why, but this neighborhood makes me feel really anxious. We've gotta get some more Diet Coke because I'm completely out. This was 192. We will store one of them here for later. Look at this, the gas station is literally selling Nutribullet. Buy one for $75, get another one for $65. I've never seen a gas station sell kitchen supplies. We are back on the route. I should have woken up earlier. Riding with the sun in your eyes is not fun. You know what I think I wanna try doing today? I think I wanna ride until my battery dies. Just go full out and then wherever our battery dies out, we just throw the solar panel up and we charge for the rest of the day. You know, I should probably put some sunscreen on if we're gonna be out all day. And I'm just gonna be more careful with the application this time. Okay, perfect. I swear to God, sometimes the app is great, sometimes it's not. It just wants me to go straight through that. Just, you know, just go straight. Okay, but also, I think I might have just found like a concentration camp. This definitely looks like a prison. They've got the sentry towers there. They've got the barbed wire fences. Those look like the places where they would house the people. Shit. Let me see if I can go around the barricades. This is stupid. My phone keeps beeping at me that I'm traveling in the wrong direction and I need to look at my map. No, I'm traveling in the right direction, you motherfucker. You're the one that put me on the wrong direction. Stupid fucking app. Look at all of the dead sunflowers. This app is trying to send me down into this guy's field. God damn it. 
It wants me to stay on this goddamn dirt road for over five miles. What the fuck? This is the kind of route I would expect if I was driving through like Sub-Saharan Africa. Like seriously, what the fuck kind of bike route is this? Okay, I'm kind of starting to like this. I feel like I'm riding a dirt bike, just trying to like move over things and get out of the way and stay on the path. This is kind of fun. Okay, pause, we gotta check something out. If you fucking fall over, I'm gonna... No, you don't. Stay up. Okay, check it out. Look at how big these sunflowers are. Please don't be pokey. Oh, yeah, they're kind of pokey. I guess we're back on the road. Are you fucking kidding me? Now it wants me to go on a cobblestone road? God damn it. We are just gonna stay on the side of the grass where there's no cobblestone. Can you imagine trying to do this on like a city bike? On like the bike with the thin tires? This would be impossible. Who in their right mind decides to pave the back roads of a farm in cobblestone? This must have taken forever and it just sucks. Check it out, I figured out how to make the bumps less bumpy. If I just stand up like this and I just crouch, I'm using my legs as shock absorbers. No problem. I'm not even sure if road is the right term for this place. It's so disheveled and unkept. Seriously, who is paving the road in between farms in goddamn cobblestone? I gotta stop for a sec. My entire body is just like aching from all of the You know, after everything's said and done, this was a cool route to take. I hated it, but it was cool. Actually, you know what? While we're here, we're gonna get something out of my bag. I haven't actually stopped to do any photography recently because I've been so focused on just riding quickly. Okay, I got a few pictures. I'll post them to Instagram. Look at that. We are finally done with the stupid cobblestone. Fuck you. Can you imagine if I was on a different bike? This route has made me appreciate how insanely fantastic this bike is. It is a tank. Like this isn't even a road anymore. This is just like slightly short grass. Hey, we made it back to somewhat modern looking roads. The wind is blowing dust in my eyes. It's really hard to see. This app is just a flat out liar. This has been way longer than five miles. You've gotta be kidding me. We're back on cobblestone bullshit. Look at that, it's a real road. Oh my God, it feels so nice. Close your eyes. I really do feel like I'm in the fucking desert right now. Let's see if we can't find a convenience store to get some Diet Coke because I am thirsty. There is a supermarket directly ahead of us. Here we are, supermarket. We still have a bunch of food left from little yesterday, so all we need is drinks. Oh, perfect, look at that nice big bottle. It's not even cold, it's like lukewarm. Everything in here is lukewarm. See, this is how much it should cost, 74 cents. The one at the gas station was like a buck 30. This was $3.79. And we're gonna go walk over to the shade while we eat this ice cream. This looks good to me. Okay, so we have like 30% battery on the bike left. So we could probably make it to another town. We might just wanna set up shop. I think we've already made it 45-ish miles on that one battery. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah, I think we should pop the solar panel out. This way we go to avoid riding in the heat and we gotta make that heat work for us. Just gonna pop this guy in the bag. I cannot actually get it to zip. I'll figure that out later. Let's go find some shade. It is ridiculous how hot it is outside right now. Public parks are the best. Then I think we'll just set up our panels right here. Now that that's up and running, we can go set up our bed and take a nap.
Actually, I'm a little bit worried if I get up, it'll blow away. We're just gonna use the laptop to hold it down because there's a gas station right there, which means we can get more cold drinks. I've noticed that a lot of the places here, they don't actually have their drink coolers to keep the drinks cool. They have their drink coolers here to keep them from getting hot. Like you, you go to the coolers and you get a drink. They're not actually cold, they're kind of lukewarm. For example, in this cooler, yeah, this is just barely cold. This was $3.13. The wind is blowing really hard again today. I wonder if letting all of my baked goods cook in my bag like this will make them taste like they just came out of the oven again. That would be cool. It's not even hot. I guess my little insulated bag does a good job at insulating. Apparently the town we're in is called Cova Kika. I am going to take a nap and hopefully my bike doesn't blow over while I'm sleeping. I looked on Google, apparently it is 96 degrees outside right now. Gotta go move the bike back into the sun. I have all of this free time. I think I'm gonna start editing this video just to save myself having to do the work later tonight. Oh, I see a dog over there. That means I can potentially give him dog vitamins. You guys might have noticed that I carry these dog vitamins with me, even though space is at a premium. The reason I do this is to feed stray dogs that I find as we're riding around. I don't know where the dog went. Uh, this is one of the companies that's sponsoring me and they pay me $60 for every TikTok I make about their product. So I'm bringing this around, hoping that this can like pay for all of my travels. Just, I just need to find dogs to feed. I'm not gonna go hunt them down. My bike tipped over again and it actually just broke my mirror off. So I'm gonna take the one from that side, put it over here, and then I guess I'll have to buy new mirrors at some point. God damn it, stay up, you motherfucker. Taking this mirror off will be pretty easy. You just gotta unscrew it and then pop it onto this broken one. And we just gotta bend it to where it'll fit this side. This isn't even a kickstand problem. This is a really strong wind problem. Any bike would have this, any bike would do this. Any bike would tip over with gusts that strong especially with the solar panel adding surface area. I think when I'm using my solar panels from now on, I'm gonna use these bungee cables to tie it down from both directions. That way it can't blow over or it can't blow over as easily. When I get new mirrors, I should look at mirrors that don't stick out as much. So if it does fall over, they don't break off. Look at this, my chain is caked in dirt because of the dirt roads earlier today. I should probably spend some time washing everything. It's 5.30, we have officially spent seven hours here charging. God damn. Charging with a solar panel is so much slower than charging from a wall outlet. I am exhausted. On the bright side though, the town we're passing through tomorrow has a McDonald's. That's good. See, pedaling. The wind is trying to blow me off the side of the road. <laughs> I do not know what's going on with this wind. It is like pushing me off the road. What do you guys say we set up camp next to some dying sunflowers? So this is technically just like in the middle of a road, but I don't think this road gets used very often because these sunflowers are still up here standing. If people were actually driving through here, I think these would have been knocked down. So I don't think that we'll get run over while we sleep. Hey Google, is it gonna rain today? It says there is a moderate chance of rain from five to seven. Hmm. We probably should put the rain fly up then and bring all of the electronics inside the tent. I wish this tent was a little bit faster to set up, but honestly, it's not too bad. There we go. Now let's figure out how this rain fly works. Okay, yeah, it's uh, sort of self-explanatory. It just goes on top. This is the ventilation mechanic. It's got this little hard foam thing and you take this and you Velcro it and now you've got like this small little bit of ventilation. We're gonna take this off until later tonight because I'm gonna burn up if I don't. And I think we can just peel this back. I hope this doesn't blow away, but I've got this set up so that later tonight when I wanna put the rain cover up, I just take this, undo it, slide it up, and then put it over top. It should be pretty painless, hopefully. Gotta put everything in the tent so that it doesn't get wet tonight. Uh, my bag is getting just destroyed. 
sitting there on the back of my bike. That includes this guy. And lastly, let's bring the bike battery in. There we go, we are ready for the rain tonight. The bike itself is waterproof, it's fine, it can just sit here and chill. It doesn't matter if it gets wet. You know, I think I still have some food in here. How much food do we have left? One pizza, we have two pizzas left. I'm actually gonna eat these outside my tent because I don't want the crumbs falling everywhere. It's warm. I'm gonna close these things up. I don't want any more flies getting in here. Check it out though. Today we only spent $8.84. Not bad. There's a dog barking at me. I hope he's not gonna like alert his owner. If he comes over here though, we can feed him vitamins. Because of that cell data we bought yesterday, I'm actually up, able to upload the video right here while we're in the tent. I don't need to wait till we're at a coffee shop tomorrow. So you guys get the video a little bit early. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. We pitched our tent in the middle of a dirt road last night, and luckily for us, nobody has tried to drive through here, so we're safe. Also, it didn't rain last night, but it's going to rain in about two hours, so we need to pack up and leave. Also, the mosquitoes are ravenous. They're just everywhere on my tent, so I don't really want to leave. Hopefully this jacket will help deter some of the mosquitoes. We're gonna try to roll up the inflatable bed and sleeping bag inside the tent today so that we have less exposure to the mosquitoes up there. I'm not gonna lie, this is working pretty well. <clears throat> There's that damn dog again. The mosquitoes are here and they're definitely trying, but this is keeping them away. There we go, camp is set up and nobody even tried to use the road. Now let's go before the mosquitoes start attacking my face. I'm pretty sure we're like 10 miles away from McDonald's. Apparently McDonald's doesn't open for two more hours. So it's gonna rain at seven o'clock and McDonald's opens at eight o'clock. That means we're gonna need to spend at least an hour in the rain trying to hide. Riding your bike early in the morning like this is just the best, aside from the mosquitoes. Check it out, we've gone exactly 500 miles since we started this trip. That is impressive. Okay, moment over, let's keep riding. So we still have an hour before McDonald's opens. I'm gonna get something to drink here. I do technically have a big bottle of Coke, but I want something cold. This was $1.97. We are completely out of food too, by the way. We finished all that off last night. These really busy streets freak me out a little bit. Look at that, we have a bike path though, that's cool. I'm pretty sure the capital city is like 10 miles that way. We're not gonna go that way. We're gonna stay as far away from big cities as we can. The bigger the city you're in, the more likely your shit is gonna get stolen. Apparently our McDonald's is somewhere around here. Hey look, I found stray dogs. I think we can feed them. This right here is why we brought all of the dog vitamins make sure that these dogs stay healthy. I hope they don't give me rabies. One for you, yes. And then one for you. Huh, ah, yours. No, no, don't eat that, that's silica. That's not for eating. Here you go, pup. No, I need, you can't sit there. I need, I need to move my bike. If you guys are interested in buying any of these dog vitamins, I get, I, I think $6 for every one of these that we sell. There's a link right there. Hopefully we're able to sell some dog vitamins. That would be cool. Yeah, it is definitely going to rain. Hopefully I can park my bike somewhere that's got cover on top of it. Or possibly I can use the rain fly from my tent and just use that to cover the bike rather than the tent. That would definitely make my uh, bike look like a homeless person shelter. So now we just wait for McDonald's to open, I guess. God, I'm so proud of this bike. Over 500 miles and not a single flat. And we still have the two spares. I am curious about my brakes though. Um, I should probably check them. Okay, yeah, the rain is coming down. We gotta figure something out now. Let's go right around the complex and see if there's a place out here that's got like a roof. Hey, I found a spot. It's not a long-term solution, but it'll keep us dry for right now. Yeah, all of the actual bike locks, they're right in the open. So 
if I just lock my bike up regularly, it'll get wet. I suppose I could lock my bike up to this that is under the roof, but this is really far away from the McDonald's over there, so I wouldn't even be able to see it. Somebody could steal my bike and I wouldn't even know. Yeah, the McDonald's is back there. It does look like the rain is done, so I think that we can probably just go into McDonald's and charge everything up. But the forecast says that we do have more rain tonight, so we're not done with this problem yet. I don't think that it's supposed to rain until afternoon though, like, like after 12 p.m. Is there a bike lock? They do have bike locks and they are the shitty kind of bike lock. I want to lock it to the signpost, but it makes my bike stick out a little bit. And the last thing you want is to stand out. That's how people notice your bike. We're gonna lock it to this signpost right here because at least it's visible from that window out there so I can see if anybody's doing some tomfoolery. And then I'm just gonna make sure I take all of my valuables with me so that if it does get stolen, it's not as bad as it could be. This is certainly not my favorite McDonald's ever. And we got an outlet, cool. An Egg McMuffin is $2.60. This is actually my first McDonald's in Serbia. And I'm not gonna lie, the Wi-Fi here is terrible. Mm. All my stuff is just getting so dirty. Okay, the bike battery is charged, we should be good to go. See, it only took four hours this time. Hi, pup. Luckily, all of these clouds means it's not burning outside right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep my jacket on. I might take it off later, depending on how hot it gets. We have 40 miles to drive today. I always make sure that I'm explicitly using my pedals when I pass cops. Yeah, I'm gonna take the jacket off. I might put it back on later, but right now I'm just sweating too much. It is still hot outside, even with the clouds. There's a dude behind me who is trying to hitchhike. He's basically begging any car that comes by to let him on. I made sure to go by really fast so that he didn't try to steal my bike. Let's inspect our bags, make sure nothing fell off. Do do do, those are still there, good. Bag, you touching anything? Nope, you're good. Okay, let's hit the road again. I do that like four or five times a day just to make sure. This is another one of those fast roads. This is where it wants me to cross through. I feel like I'm in Bangladesh. We're just gonna have this camera on so that if I get hit, uh, you guys can see it. Good God, that was definitely the busiest intersection I've seen so far. And it doesn't help that the roads are really not that great here. God, interstates like that are terrifying. The semi trucks are going so fast that when they pass you, the wind, is almost strong enough to blow you off the road. You need to like hunker down. And if there's a pothole right in front of you, you just need to like take it. God. We are going to stop here. It's a place called Pekara. I think it means bakery in Serbian. Everybody on my channel has said that I got to check one of these places out. Ooh. Can I get one of these and one of those? <laughs> So there are some kids there that thought it was really cool that I was a YouTuber. And as soon as they found out that I'm a YouTuber, they started begging me for money. I have no idea how much this costs because I gave them like money. I gave them the change that I had. So I don't actually know how much this costs. That's them. It's very flaky. Yeah, it's a cherry pie. I give it maybe a four out of 10. We also got this, uh, I thought this was chocolate, but I'm looking at it now and it's not chocolate. Hmm. Whatever this is, it tastes like cinnamon mixed with dirt. I'm not even gonna finish this. It's crazy. It's like the second we moved from the north part of Serbia to the south part, it got immediately poor. I think we need to find another cafe because it's really early in the day and going fast on those interstates uh, kind of killed our battery a little bit. You know, I wonder if those kids stole anything from my bike when I was in the store. It looks like the rain is coming soon. Okay, looking at the route, the next big city is like nine miles away. We might be able to make it. We have like 20% battery left. I honestly don't know. We might end up stranded today. That is a possibility.
Okay, we are sort of in the middle of a railroad, so I hope that a train doesn't come, but check this out. <sighs> you know what would be cool? Camping on the side of the river, like right there. I'm not sure how I would get my bike there, but that would be cool. Let's get off this railroad before a train comes. It is definitely gonna start raining soon. So I can't pronounce that, but apparently the city was founded in 1467. That means this city is over 550 years old. I see a cafe over there in that gas station. Let's head over there. Let's just check real quick. Sort of see an outlet, but it looks like it's being used to charge these USB devices. I don't think I can unplug it. It is getting late. Maybe we could uh, look for a place to camp. Oh yeah, there's a much better cafe just up the street. I can feel the water drops falling on me already. Okay, this is the cafe. I'm just gonna park it right here to keep it out of the rain. Let's go check the outlet situation. It feels a lot more like a bar than a cafe, but whatever, I see outlets, so we're good. Fantastic, I've got a Coke Zero. Put the battery down, it's really dark in here. And I can actually see my bike from here to where I can sit here and just like watch it, knowing that it's safe. I take back everything I just said, there was a power outage, which means no more charging the battery. I did not know Serbia struggled with power outages. Now we know. My cell data is gone too, which means the tower went out. We avoided this by five minutes. We would have been drenched if we were a little bit slower. I swear to God, this is the most convenient thing. Oh, it looks like power is back on too. I cannot believe how lucky we are. After seeing the storm out there, I realized that anywhere we go to camp right now, we'll just be soaking wet. We definitely should look for a place to sleep tonight. Uh, it says no hotels found. That's not a good sign. After doing some searching, I was able to find a reservation for a hotel here, but I'm not sure if the, ho if the reservation is actually real or if I'm gonna get there and they're gonna be like, oh, sorry, we oversold. We can't let you sleep here tonight. I'm gonna email the hotel and make sure that they've got my confirmation before we ride over there in the rain. <sighs> look at that. Okay, uh, it stopped raining, we're gonna go see if we can't get into this hotel. They kept offering me drinks. I don't really drink alcohol, and so like I felt awkward telling them no. I appreciate it though. God, it feels so nice, it smells great. I believe we are here. There's not really a place to park my bike, so we'll just sit it here for a sec while we make sure that the confirmation works and that we can get the room. Well, I guess maybe I could take my bike up there. I don't know. Where's the lobby? Ah, here we are. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, so the bike will go... Will this be open tomorrow? Can I get this yeah, tomorrow? This Perfect. Good. She's letting me park my bike in that room, but I don't think she understands how big my bike is. Okay, we're just gonna leave it there. We are in room 305. Uh, third floor. Okay, 305, where are you at? Let's see what kind of place $54 a night gets you in Serbia. It smells kind of weird. I don't know, but got four beds. Putting the Diet Coke in the fridge, if it'll fit. The place does come with an all-you-can-eat buffet for breakfast though, so we will get free breakfast tomorrow. She said there's a restaurant on the second floor, so it sounds like we can actually have like a proper sit-down meal. Well, you know, proper being not McDonald's. There are a lot of gambling places here. I've seen that. They're called like Max Bet and Gamble Max and Gambling seems to be pretty popular here in Serbia. We are so fancy. So I didn't get to pick the food. He's just like, we're having soup. And then he listed some other things that I can't pronounce, but he's gonna bring food and we're gonna try it. I have absolutely no idea what kind of soup it is. It's chicken noodle, it's chicken noodle soup. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Holy shit, bread and steak and mashed potatoes. Ah, this is great. Oh, that was great. He didn't actually tell me how much it costs though, so we're gonna go down to reception and possibly have a heart attack. Oh my God, that meal was $9.25. 
<laughs> I love Serbia. Steak and mashed potatoes and soup and bread <clears throat> for less than a Subway sandwich. Let's go walk around the neighborhood while the sun is still up. <sighs> everything looks really sepia tone right now. Like, you know how like in movies they're trying to depict what Mexico looks like by just making everything warm? It looks like we're in Mexico. Yeah, so in Serbian, pekara means bakery. I'm curious if the bakery we went to earlier today was just like a poor representation and like most of them are good. We'll try that again later, a different pekara. This reminds me of when I used to explore Europe like a year or two ago when I would just like walk around different big cities. It's very nostalgic. I wish I was better in social situations. Like, I wish I could go to a bar or a club and just like get drunk tonight, have a good time. But I have terrible social anxiety. You'll notice that nobody else is ever in my videos. And I kind of like it like that. Um, but I do wish I could go do something fun tonight without being anxious. Like, I don't want to be that guy that's sitting in the bar in the corner just scrolling TikTok while he drinks. I should probably get back. I have to edit and post this video. I'm not sure how fast their Wi Fi is. It could take three hours to upload. I'm tempted to stay here for a few more days, just explore the city. It's gorgeous. I'm not sure if that's because the city is pretty or just because it stopped raining. Oh, hey, look, I found a thrift shop. I really want to check that out tomorrow, find out what kind of goodies they have in their thrift shops here. That's a tomorrow job. I'm gonna get some clothes for when I take my shower. Third floor. I'm exhausted. I'm pretty sure we rode over 60 miles today. Okay, I'm gonna edit this video, take a shower, and then catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are about to hit the road, except the hotel that we're in right now has a free all-you-can-eat buffet, and we're gonna take advantage of that. We might steal a little bit for later, too. Okay, it is not all-you-can-eat, but they are making me omelets. More bread. Look at that. We're having milk today. That's yogurt. I don't know why I thought they would drink milk. Drinking milk is a very, like, American thing. It looks like a ham and cheese omelet. Okay, let's go hit the road. It looks like it's cloudy outside today, which means less heat. Oh. I'm looking at the route today, and it looks like we're about to start going up into the mountains, so we're going to have some really fast, narrow roads with uphill, steep inclines. Me and Steve. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna try to get this bike down the ramp. The ramp to get up here is super steep. Like, yeah, I would say that's a solid 45 degree drop. I'm gonna leave the camera recording so you guys can see this if this ends terribly. Okay, double check, make sure everything is secure. Yep. Good. It seems we checked out just as it started raining, so this will be fun. Hopefully it doesn't start downpouring. The rain is getting worse. I'm gonna throw a jacket on. How long is it gonna rain for? Uh, it says it should be done raining by 11, so we've got maybe a half hour of rain left. I need to be careful because these roads are really wet. I'm not gonna go over 17 miles an hour while the roads are wet. You know, it's really cool seeing other people on bikes, especially on roads like this. It makes me feel like I'm not in a place that I'm not allowed to be in. Apparently this road is supposed to be closed down because the bridge is not very good. There's like holes in it. Um, but I don't speak whatever language they're speaking here, Serbian. So I'm just gonna go on it anyway. Yeah, they're straight up just not letting any cars through. Luckily for me, I can get around this barricade. Having a bike definitely has some perks. If we were driving a car, we would be stuck there for who knows how long. I'm really glad we didn't try to sleep in a tent last night. Everything is soaking wet. This would have been miserable. There are a whole bunch of cars just stopped on the middle of the road. Okay, take it back. The jacket has got to come off. The sun is coming out. Okay, back on the road. I'm not gonna lie. I hope the condition of the roads gets better because this is not good. You've got to be fucking shitting me. For the past like 30 minutes, I've been riding in the wrong direction. I've been riding to the end of yesterday's position rather than the start of today. 
fucking hell. I have these things planned so that every day I've got like 40 mile chunks that I need to drive in, but I went a little bit over yesterday. So when I started today's route, it just routed me backward to where I should have ended yesterday. And now we've got to go, God damn it. So now we get to go do all of that all over again. Of course, that means we get across the bridge again. All of the workers here are just like looking at me like I shouldn't be here. I'm really glad I'm on the walkway this time rather than in the middle right there. There was a dude in a military outfit who like stopped to question me, but uh, I didn't speak Serbian. So I just like kept going. Maybe he wasn't an officer. Maybe he was just like a train conductor, but he definitely had like an official looking outfit and a hat. He had an official looking hat. The speed limit on this road is 80 kilometers per hour. Fuck me. I might want to put some sunscreen on. The sun is coming out. Hey, found a little gas station. My bike is super safe here. They don't have any Coke Zero, actually. You know what, we will get a Red Bull. And one of these ice cream sandwiches again. These are really good. Thank you very much. They've even got a little cafe spot for us to sit and enjoy it. No, it's funny. People on TikTok are freaking out about the amount of Diet Coke that I drink. They want me to drink water. Um, let's talk about that for a second. If you've ever seen any of my videos in America, I don't drink Coke. I don't drink Diet Coke. Um, the reason that I do, the reason that I drink so much Diet Coke out here is because it's a really good indicator of price. Uh, back, I think like a year ago, back in 2021, when I was exploring Europe, I would go to really cheap countries with a $100 bill, and I would see how long you could survive there, just being like super frugal, doing whatever you can with $100. And the best way to find out how expensive that country would be on day one would be to go into a store and get a thing of Diet Coke. Because Coke is the same everywhere. Coke is the same in Poland, in Ukraine, in Lebanon. It's the same everywhere. So if something is like twice as expensive as po in Poland as it is in Ukraine, you can expect the rest of the country to be about twice as expensive. I started drinking Coke because it's a good indicator of price. And it's also pretty cheap. It's got caffeine in it too. All of those videos are on YouTube. So if you want to see me be really cheap, um, I think we've got Barcelona, London, Poland, Ukraine, Lebanon, Turkey, Georgia, and uh, Armenia in there. It's also really easy to ask for in any language, like Coca-Cola. Everybody knows what that is. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I am still disappointed he didn't have Coke Zero. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. On most of the drive over here, a lot of what we saw were farms, but here it's just like village after village after village after village. All of the towns are spaced like one mile apart from each other, to where as soon as you leave one town, you're entering another. It's much prettier than just farms. Here we go, maybe they'll have some Diet Coke. They don't. It's all just regular Coke. God damn, maybe they have orange juice? I could I could go for some orange juice. They've got orange drink. That's not the same thing and it's not very good. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna keep driving. God damn it. Let's see if an actual supermarket will have what we're looking for. Regular Coke. They don't. Nope. You guys might actually win. I might actually need to resort to drinking water. Not by choice, by the way. Update from my earlier comment. Yes, the roads have gotten much, much better. That one stretch of road was just really bad. I found another little bakery place. Let's give this another shot. Can I get one of these? <laughs> okay, what are we having for lunch? It's a little bread thing that looks kind of like a pretzel. Oh. I like this a lot. What do you guys think? Third time's the charm? Oh, and they're cold too. Fantastic. 
$2, not too bad. Before we head out on the road again, I want to add some more lubricant to my chain. I think the water washed off. My chain is starting to squeak a little bit. I think we are just going to park in the shade right here. I want to show you guys how you can measure how uh, good your chain is doing with this guy. I'm not actually sure what it's called. What this tool does is it tells you how much wear and tear has actually happened on your chain. You take this side right here and you put it inside the rollers on one side and you see if you can get this to fit in. Just a sec. So you see how this doesn't fit? It's not actually sliding in. That means that there is not one millimeter of wear on them. You flip it over to the other side and this is still not fitting in. So we don't even have 0.75 millimeters of wear. Our chain is fine. We are still going to wipe it down and lube it up though, just to be sure. People were criticizing me my last time saying that I should just like run the chain and just like drizzle this over this, but I don't have a lot of this left. Like I've only got this one thing. I don't want to waste any of it. So I'm being very precise. Just going to work it in. Look at all of the gunk we got off the chain. You know what? Actually, we got so much gunk off of that chain. I'm sure there's still more. Let's give it a proper wash. We're just going to rinse the whole thing off. We're going to use our teeth and we're going to punch a small hole in this so that we can get high pressure. Oh my God, it's carbonated. God fucking damn it. I hate how every goddamn place over here in Europe drinks their water with carbonation in it. The store clerk brought me some paper towels. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm definitely glad we're giving this a proper wash. This does mean we need to re-add the oil though, so so much for not wasting any, because all of that stuff we just put on needs to be reapplied. I'm pretty sure we need to wait for the chain to dry before we put this stuff on though, so I'm gonna wait. I think the thing that I hate most about carbonated water is there's not really a good way to tell that it's carbonated before you open it. I would not have bit down on this if I knew it was gonna pop in my face. Let's start this process again. Now we let that dry for like 10 minutes. I'm throwing the carbonated water away too. I'm definitely not drinking that. We only have 10 miles left for today's route, but we still have a bunch of battery left and it's only like 2 p.m. So we could probably finish today's and tomorrow's. Ah, gotta put all this stuff back in the pouch. This is angled downward to where as soon as I open this, everything falls out. And I need to hold stuff in there until I zip it up because nothing will hold itself. Okay, perfect. Oh, check it out. We have officially gone 600 miles now. Let's finish this last 10 miles and see how much battery we have left. Now turn left onto 160. Okay, so I'm thinking about it. We're in a somewhat decent sized town right now. It might be better to stop at a cafe and charge the battery up to full. That way we can finish the second day's 40 miles. Yeah, we've only got 40% battery left. That's a good idea. Let's go find a cafe that will let us loiter for a few hours. I'm finding a lot of cafes that have outdoor seating, but we need some place that'll let us like actually sit inside. I found a spot that might work. Here we are. I think this is the place we're going to. And luckily for us, they have big windows in the front so we can see our bike at all times. I have cappuccino. Thank you. Perfect. And they have outlets. Good. This place is called Mup, and I think it might be like a big chain because they've got sugar packets with their name on it. Okay, there we go. Let's go head out. We ended up staying there a little bit longer than I intended to. It's like 5.30 right now, but we do have a full battery now, so that's cool. Let's get some granola bars or something before we head out. We don't have any food on the bike right now. I'm pretty sure each one of these peanut bars is only like 60 cents. Hello. Yes, we got all of this for like $4.40. Uh, these aren't gonna be the main, get back here. These aren't gonna be like a main meal. These are gonna be snacks. Just so we always have food on the road. Okay, well maybe we will have one of these peanut bars. Yeah, they're fine. Let's go. We are definitely getting into the mountains. The hills are getting really steep. I can't lie though, it's gorgeous. It smells really good too. 
My bike is putting in over 18 amps just to try to get me up this hill. I am so glad I got an electric bike. Somebody commented on my last video. They're like, if charging is so difficult, why don't you just get a regular bike? You don't need to charge that. Technically true. This is, I could just turn the bike off. This could be a normal bike, but also, this thing is fantastic. This would be so much harder if this wasn't doing all of the work. I'm really glad I have charging as a problem. You can see the hills are getting bigger. God damn, riding through the mountains is so much cooler than riding through farm fields. And this will only get cooler as we get higher up. So for the first time this entire trip, I'm actually kind of chilly. Like I've been, I've been wet, but this is the first time I'm thinking like I should put on a jacket. I'm cold. <sighs> so cool. The sun is going down though. So we should find a place to set up camp. I found a dirt road. Let's see what's down it. I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure those are bee boxes for like keeping honey. So we are going in exactly the opposite direction of this. I definitely want to be as far away from bees as I can. I'm sure we'll find somewhere. found a wooden bridge. Do we want to take our bike across it and see what's over there? Or do we think that it'll like collapse under the weight of our bike? You're traveling in the wrong direction. Take a look at the map. Like looking down there, it's definitely a far drop and I don't want to go fishing for my bike. I guess I would be on my bike, so I would be, yeah, let's not do that. It seems like finding a camping spot in the mountains is going to be harder. Let's just enjoy this for a second. Oh, she's trying so hard. I am so glad we stopped to charge this thing. These mountains probably would have killed us if we didn't. Killed the battery, I mean. Okay, I found another dirt road. Yeah, okay, this seems doable. Yeah, this'll do. There are a whole bunch of mosquitoes here, so I think I'm gonna be fast and only set up the main tent. That way we can be in and out of here really fast tomorrow. I also don't know if it's gonna rain. I should check. Tomorrow is gonna suck. They are everywhere. You know, the more I do it, the faster I get. I have had this whole tent set up in like 60 seconds. It's hard to do with one hand while I'm filming, but I was faster just a second ago. There we go, we are now safe from mosquitoes. Just gotta zip this up. Because I was trying to be fast, I didn't like spend a whole lot of time selecting the site. So there's definitely some lumps around here, but the inflatable bed will help even that out. Yeah, I need to see if it's gonna rain tonight. See if I need to set the tent fly up. Oh, I don't have cell data here, which means I'm not gonna be able to upload the video. I just want you guys to see. Looks like I didn't put the sunscreen on early enough today. I'm sure that will hurt a lot more tomorrow. Oh, my other phone has cell data, I think. I was able to get some data on my other phone. Apparently there is a 17% chance of rain. I'm not sure if that is enough to warrant getting the sun fly out or the rain fly out. Okay, heads up everybody. I am in the mountains and the cell data is really bad up here. So I'm going to be uploading this video in a really low quality so I can get it out. And then tomorrow when I stop at a cafe, I will upload the full thing in 4K. So you might need to watch it twice. You can do whatever you want, but this video is here just to make sure that it gets out the door. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave my phone here. It has a little bit of data. I'm still gonna try to upload the YouTube video. It's just gonna be in really trash quality, but we're gonna give it a shot. God damn it. My tent needs cup holders. I don't have any towels or anything to dry this. Evaporation. I guess that'll work as a cup holder for now. We're gonna spread this around so the evaporation will happen faster. And because it's sugar-free, it won't get sticky. Sugar-free Diet Coke is basically just straight water with some like caffeine. I wouldn't inflate my bed and roll out my sleeping bag, but this kind of uh, delays that. Now we get to do a whole bunch of tent editing. I still need to figure out what I want to do if it rains. Uh, I was pretty minimalistic. I didn't bring a whole lot of stuff into my tent, which means it's all out there, which means if it does rain, I will need to bring a whole bunch of stuff in here to keep it safe. <sighs> if it rains tomorrow, I'm fucked. Good morning, everybody. There are definitely wolves in these mountains. They've been howling all last night. None of them actually cared to bother me, but they're definitely around. None of them actually bothered me, but I heard one of them walking in the woods back there, and they've been howling all around me for since midnight. It's pretty cold up here in the mountains, honestly, and I think that's good for us because I don't hear any mosquitoes right now.
<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Last night was really cold. Looks like we got a bunch of condensation. I was wrong, the cold does not keep the mosquitoes out. Wow. Now, you're supposed to let your tent dry before you wrap it up in the morning, but we don't have time for that, so we're just gonna deal with it like it is. See, because there's definitely water on the bottom, that's just how it's gonna be. But because all of that moisture is on the bottom side of the tent, I'm less concerned about it than I was when the moisture was inside the tent. Okay, let's go. Ah. You know, as far as campsites go, this was a pretty dope one. Let's go. We have a full battery, so that's cool. The air is fucking freezing. My hands are cold. I actually have gloves. I did sort of plan for this. Okay, there we go. Okay, we are out of the really hilly part of the mountain. We're gonna stop, we're gonna eat some food. I don't have anything to drink, so we're just stuck with granola bars for right now. I am not prepared for this cold weather. I need like a down jacket or something. Next time we pass by a supermarket, we gotta get more food and more drinks. The downhills are so aggressive right now, I'm alternating between my front and my back brake so that neither one of them overheats too much. Because if my brakes fail, that's game over. I found a pup. No, come here. No, it's okay. Damn dogs. Hey, I found a gas station. They might have something for breakfast. They don't have Coke Zero, we're not stopping. I'm not giving my business to companies that don't stock calorie-free drinks. Okay, looking on maps, there's a little about five miles away. We're in some small little village. But yes, the next big town that has a little is five miles. Okay, side note. One of the things that I hate about this place is that nobody has their dog on leashes. For whenever I'm riding by on these small roads, the dogs, they jump out and they try to like get caught inside my spokes. I'm gonna have bloody mangled spokes here pretty soon. I'm just now realizing that this battery pack here I used to keep this charged because this is my navigation. This is dead, and this has 16 battery left, or 16% left. So I need to come to this bag and steal some power from a different battery. Plug one end in right there. There we go. One thing I definitely have in abundance is battery capacity. See, like this guy right here, he just jumped out right in front of me. You know, I don't know. Is Serbia predominantly Islamic or is it Christian? They don't open for another half hour, but we made it. Now we just chill here for like a half hour or so. When it does open, we want to be in there super fast so that we can get there before all of the other people that are waiting in line and we don't need to wait. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it up to this pole right here. I'm really happy with this bike lock, honestly. And I will take the laptop in with me. You would think we're at a concert or something. <laughs> it's crazy that people are doing this for a supermarket. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be fast because I don't wanna wait behind all of that later. We are going to get a whole bunch of hot dogs. I think these are ham and cheese croissants. We will get some of them too, or ham and cheese hot pocket looking things. We're also gonna get some of this just plain bread. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we beat the line. No, of course we didn't. I was getting these for like 30 seconds. We were waiting in line for over 15 minutes for 30 seconds worth of groceries. That is hands down the worst part about shopping at Little. Look at all of the bikes. Everybody rides their bike to Little, I guess. I didn't pick up any Diet Coke because I didn't want to wait in the lines any longer than I had to. We'll pick up our drinks later. Right now, let's just eat breakfast. Let's try one of those ham and cheese croissants. They are warm because they're fresh out of the oven, but it's important to know that we need to eat these pretty quick because this bread does not last very long in my basket. Um, so these need to go pretty quickly. The hot dogs last a bit longer. Oh my God. 
It is a hot pocket, sort of. God damn, the sticks of regular bread, I just wanted regular bread. They're full of like this stuff and it's not good. Looking at them, I'm pretty sure I am the only e-bike here. We will get something to drink on the way out. Oh, it's cold. Feels nice. What do you guys think the chances are they sell Diet Coke? Ooh, here we go. Hey, look at that. Fantastic, and it's cold too. Fantastic, my favorite. See, and Little doesn't even keep their drinks cold. So if we would have got this at Little, we wouldn't have cold drinks. I think we have like 80 miles to go before we're there. We only have about 50% battery left. I'm not sure if I want to do the cafe thing or if I want to set up the solar panels for the day. Somebody was complaining on one of my earlier videos that I should tell you guys what town I'm in so that they could follow along on the map. I don't know what town I'm in and I couldn't pronounce it if I did. I think this might be the first time I've seen anybody watering a lawn. This looks like, a, like an American lawn. And it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I think I found the suburbs. There was a car crash up ahead. He is sending us around. So we're just gonna cross this busy ass street on my fucking bike. God damn it, please don't tell me my jump. Okay, it's still, okay, it's still attached, good. God damn it. Everything is falling apart. Look at this, my, my tent bag already has a hole in it. How? I've had the tent for like less than a week. Look at this, this is literally a one lane bridge. Okay, I guess it's just two really thin lanes. We're gonna take our bike across the bike path. I have no idea what this river is named either. It does not look like there's gonna be enough sun for the solar panel to do a lot of good work today. So let's go find a place to charge up. We're gonna sit down on a bench while we find a place to charge. This seat is becoming uncomfortable. Apparently the town we are in is called Caprija. Oh, well look at that. Apparently there's a cafe right across the street. I could ride my bike across the street. I kind of just don't want to though. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna walk. Let's go in and check for outlets and Wi-Fi. Outlet, good. I'm gonna go lock the bike up. Can I get a cappuccino and a Diet Coke up there? Thank you. I think we're gonna sit by the window just because it's kind of dark and dreary in there. Look at this, they brought croissants with the coffee. How cool is that? They're not that great. Luckily, the Wi-Fi is great though. This is insane. We're probably gonna be here for four or five hours. The mountains earlier today killed the battery. We've got like 7% left. I wanna do some fun math with you guys. Let me show you something. We've gone 650 miles. We get, let's say 40 miles per charge. That means we have charged our battery 16.25 times. That is a thousand kilowatts or a thousand watts per battery. So times one thousand. We have used 16 kilowatts to get from Austria to here. Let me show you how much that would cost if we were just charging this ourselves. Here in Serbia, it costs 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So it would have cost $1.60 for all of the electricity to get here. $1.60. That is, e-bikes are so much more efficient than cars. The like, owner, he actually just came up to say hi to me. No, okay. <laughs> okay, so I wanna show you guys something. So this guy, he's got his own startup and what he does is he makes uh, NFC business cards where rather than having somebody a physical business card, you see this little thing on the back of his phone, you just tap your phone to his and it will pop up his business card. Look at this, it's got all of his uh, social media apps on it. Like, that's really cool. What is, what's it called? Tap me. T-A-P-N-I. Okay, so on top of that, they have these rings. These rings have the NFC coil inside of them to where it's the same thing. You just tap the ring, you just tap the phone to the ring and it pulls up the business card on your phone. He's giving me free drinks. That was the most interesting conversation I've pot. So his startup, they've got, Business is buying his card in like Germany and France and Mexico. They've got people buying us. They've got hundreds of thousands of users. It's such an interesting idea. It's 
He actually did send a free drink. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, it looks like the battery is on charging. We can head out. Thank you. Bye bye. That was a super cool experience. We are 50 miles away from our destination and we have a full battery. We can probably make this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add some more sunscreen just to be super safe. Like sunburns are just not fun. Oh, it's super hot. Super hot. Yeah, sunburns are just not fun. Okay, we're protected. I think that we are good to go now. I just realized it's like 3 p.m. and I have not eaten since breakfast. Hot dogs. Okay, hopefully that's the last stop for a while. Damn it, pause. One more stop. For the last goddamn time, let's go. You know, I'm really proud of myself for never having dropped this GoPro while I'm filming. Like, I just hold it in my hand like this. I could have dropped it a whole bunch of times, but I didn't. I hope I didn't jinx myself. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. My kickstand is rubbing up against my wheel. Like, how in the world does that even happen? I heard a squeaking sound. I didn't think it was my fucking kickstand. I swear to God, this kickstand is so poorly designed. Well, it looks like a piece of my kickstand broke off. It's supposed to guard this, but it broke off and so now it's just touching my fucking tire. I will worry about fixing this later because I'm in the middle of a road and people are driving 60 kilometers an hour. I don't want to get hit. Right now, I just stuck a piece of wood in the hinge to keep that extended a little bit. I'll worry about fixing it permanently later. I swear, the kickstand on this bike is so poorly thought out, it's ridiculous. I think that once we get to the next major city, we're just gonna replace the kickstand entirely. It has been nothing but problems. It's starting to rain! God damn it! Check it out, okay, if we go under this underpass, I think we will be safe from the rain. Just gotta kinda waddle over there. Yeah, see, look, we're dry. No, you guys wanna see just another super shitty thing about this kickstand? One of the things you're supposed to be able to do with your bike is you're supposed to be able to back pedal like this, right? That way you can put grease on the chain and do all of this stuff. But watch what happens when we put the kickstand up. If we put the kickstand up, now when you try to back pedal, the pedals hit the kickstand and you can't do that. Like this is so just not smart. Whoever designed this did a really bad job. How long is it going to rain? 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. You know, I'm thinking about it. This might not be a bad place to set up a tent. It's kind of cool. Like it's got a, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Well, I mean, it's a homeless vibe, but it's a vibe. Yep, it's still raining. You know what? Whatever. I've got my jacket on. I'm okay with getting wet. I don't think it'll be that bad. Oh my God, there's a massive fucking spider on my bike. No, go away. I guess that's what I get for being a bridge person. We should have stayed bridge people. Just a sec, I want you guys to see something. We are about 17 miles from the city. That's all, I just really wanted you guys to see that. Check it out, we have traveled over 700 miles. These hills are killing me. We've got less than 20% battery left, so I'm putting a lot more work into actually pedaling myself, and Jesus Christ, these hills are hard. We are cutting things really close. The battery is close to dying, and we have five miles left to go. One of the cool things about coming into the city at 5.30 means nobody else is going in. Everybody is leaving work, 
So we basically got the lane to ourselves. Okay, I take that back. I just got run off the road by a fucking tour bus. Like, skid on the fucking pavement, run off the road. Oh my God, my fucking heel. Mm. Didn't hit my head though. Haha. <laughs> uh, it launched my laptop out of the fucking basket. Gotta put that back. I hope nothing's broken. I'm gonna try to get back on the road. We are officially in the city of Nis. So I have officially had one crash in 700 miles. The battery is very, very close to dying. It does not want to accelerate anymore. I can hold it constant speed with cruise control, but I can't really go faster. I was not planning to stop at this particular spot at all, but I was always driving. I saw that this is both a hotel and a cafe. I'm gonna look online to see what their rates are. Yeah, they have no rooms. Actually, now that I think about it, we should look for another apartment that has a washing machine because I haven't done laundry in like six days. Oh my god, this one has a washing machine and a bathtub. $31 a night, yes, select. The bike battery went a total of 56 miles. That is how far I can go on a full battery with hills, 56 miles. The apartment that we booked is one mile away. I'm not sure if the battery will make it. It definitely has a hard time accelerating from a stop. Go bike, go bike, go! This bike has never died on me. God damn. I am so proud of the battery in this thing. The battery. I want to highlight the battery and the tires. Those are the two things that are doing incredible. Also, is it just me or does this kind of look like a rundown ghost town? Yeah, okay, the battery is struggling. It's, I think I'm ready to call it straight up dead. Good thing I have regular pedals and it's a regular bike. That's helpful. I've turned the bike off. We are now just completely going by our own pedal power. When my bike is off, I don't know how fast I'm going. It's also worth noting that I do have that inverter, which has like 150 watt hours in it. So if I needed to, I could just plug that in and get another 10% in my bike battery. I have options. I take it back, I turn the bike on and it's helping me again. Um, it's fine when you're on little pathways like that, but when you're going through like traffic, you definitely want the help. I am so freaking ready for that washing machine bathtub combo. Uh, the pictures look nicer than the neighborhood looks. The neighborhood looks Project Z. I hope they message me back quickly. They messaged me in Serbian, so I need to go to Google Translate and translate this. Oh, apparently it is in Croatian. She said she is coming down and she is in a long, colorful dress. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Susan. Uh, let me okay. put this somewhere. Uh, Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I tried to see if we could book this for two more nights. It's cheaper if they do it in person rather than using booking.com, but apparently they were already booked up. So we only get the bathtub for one night, but that is a great way to end the trip here is ending with a bathtub and a washing machine. Hmm. So useful. Oh, and it's not just a washing machine. I've also got all of the chemicals that I need to wash this stuff. I'm gonna move my bike. As much as I wanna go hop in the bathtub right now, we need to go to the supermarket first and get food for tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. She said I can bring my bike somewhere over here, but that does not look like a spot that I wanna put it. I genuinely have no idea what to do with my bike. This is where she suggested I put my bike, like right here in the cubby. And she's like, private, private. Like, I don't think that's very private. That's exactly where I don't want to leave my bike overnight. There's nothing to lock it to. And I can't really bring it in because the stairs to get up there are super tall. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure my bike is going to get stolen tonight because I've basically just got to lock it up next to a lamp post. Yep, this is it. And this is where it's going to be parked tonight. I'm not going to have a fucking bike tomorrow. All I can do now is just take all of my valuable electronics and make sure they don't get stolen. You know what? It was nice knowing you. You did good, kid. So I have a thing that I do where I don't actually name my vehicles until they've completely broken. And I guess getting stolen would count. So drop a comment what you think we should call it. I am partial to the name Yoshi because somebody said that, the, that watching me ride the bike reminds them of watching Mario ride Yoshi. Goodbye, Yoshi. 
let's go get some food. You know, the company that sent me that bike, I was going to review it tomorrow, but if it's not here, I can't review it. Hasn't been stolen yet. We're good. <laughs> We're gonna get some groceries to munch on, ooh, bananas. Some orange juice. Oh, and some pizza. And some crackers for breakfast. Orange juice, bananas. I'm pretty sure there's like vegetables on that pizza. This is a healthy meal. Nobody can be mad about this. I also need to remember to get my clothes from the bike so I can bring them up and wash them. Luckily for me, I carry this extra grocery bag. Come here. That I can carry my clothes in. Say goodbye, everybody. That's the last time you're gonna see Yoshi. I think I'm gonna take a bath after I edit the video because if I get in the bathtub, I won't edit the video. Does this place have two fridges? That's not cold. What in the heck? That's not cold either. I guess I don't have a fridge. For some reason, I thought I had a microwave. I guess not. Go ahead and get everything on the charger. You know, it's funny, we are plugging in a bike or we're plugging in a battery for a bike we probably won't have tomorrow. Yeah, okay, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll still have a bike. So I actually had an epiphany. I just took this bike like 700 miles to get here. And the only thing that's stopping me from protecting the bike is like 10 stairs. So I just picked it up and carried it in. Like I'm not gonna let like 10 stairs be the reason that this trip ends. Good morning, everybody. I think I messed up last night doing all of my content creator things because I was not able to get my laundry into the washing machine until like 11 p.m. It's 8 a.m. right now and all of my things are still wet. I'm not gonna be able to roll these up and put them in my bag if they're like, like this is how I'm gonna get mildew. I am wearing one pair of pants that's still wet because I know that my body heat will help the water evaporate faster. It's not super comfortable, but it'll work. Before I go pack up all of my stuff and make the bike really heavy again, I'm gonna go move it downstairs. Oh, side note, the oven did work, so I was able to make my pizza last night. Look at that, we still have a bike. It looks like somebody did steal my sunscreen and my inflatable bed though. I'm just gonna go check outside to make sure it didn't like fall down while I was bringing this up. Yep, no sunscreen, no inflatable bed. They got nicked. Yeah, so for all of the people that are sitting there in the comments talking about how nice Serbians are and how nobody's gonna steal anything, like, when I'm worried that my stuff is gonna get stolen, it's for a reason. I am absolutely certain if I left my bike here overnight last night, it would have been stolen. Luckily, I did plan for this. Like I said, all of the stuff that is here is easy to replace. I can get more sunscreen, I can get another inflatable bed. This stuff isn't that expensive. I brought all of the really important stuff up there with me. Let me just go through the pockets and double check everything. They left my gloves. I guess that's cool. I still have my pump. Welcome to Nice, everybody. I just messaged the host that my stuff got stolen and she's like, oh yeah, that happens a lot here. Remember, she wanted me to leave my bike right there, not locked to anything. And she knew that stuff gets stolen. So I guess this means we need to go to a camping store today because we definitely can't sleep in the tent without an inflatable bed. Uh, that would be miserable. I just wanna point out, I'm not blaming Serbians. I'm not over here saying that like Serbians are just especially thiefy. What I'm saying is that in all of my videos, whenever I'm worried that my stuff is gonna get stolen, people in the comments always freak out like, oh my God, no, Serbians, they're so nice. They would never steal your shit. Yes, they would. When I'm worried that my stuff is gonna get stolen, it's because I know what I'm talking about. And I need that sunscreen. I'm like, white as fuck. I need this washing machine to hurry up and finish this so I can get out of here. God damn it, open up. Okay, this is still super wet, but I'm gonna put it on because I'll cause it to dry off faster. I had great plans for this city. We were gonna go visit the Skull Tower. We were gonna go look around and shit. Now, I just don't like it. I, I wanna leave. What a great start to the day. God damn it. Okay, so first up is an outdoor supply store. Luckily for me, they didn't take my bungee cables. This thing is getting ripped up. I don't like that. Oh my God, did they take my fucking deodorant? What are they gonna do with deodorant? Jesus, sunscreen and deodorant. What the fuck is that? What the fuck kind of thieves are these people? People in the comments are telling me that I should call the police and file a report for sunscreen and deodorant. It's, it's annoying, it's like mildly inconvenient, but this is not, they didn't take my laptop, they didn't take the bike. I'm not gonna make a deal about this. Sunscreen and deodorant. <laughs> uh, of all of the times I've been robbed, this is my favorite. Show me outdoor sports stops nearby. We should also consider getting another uh, kickstand. 
for now, until we get another kickstand, I'm just gonna super glue this piece back on. Let me see if I can show you guys how this piece works. This piece used to go right here and it would keep the kickstand from flopping back and hitting the tire. I'm just gonna super glue it back in place. This certainly is not a permanent solution, but it'll keep my tire safe for now. Plus side, I'm pretty sure the sportswear store where we get the inflatable bed will have sunscreen. I can hear the squeaking again. My kickstand fix failed. Okay, it looks like our uh, outlet store or our sporting goods store is in this big massive block. I don't like that. It seems like these people are fine with just locking up their front wheels. We're not gonna do that. I can just hear you guys in the comments saying, Nate, nobody's gonna steal your bike. Nobody wants your bike. Yeah, shut up. I'm taking precautions. Of course, I'm bringing all of my shit in with me because I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Okay, inflatable bed and sunscreen. Let's go. I got a little bounce house with basketballs. I feel like I'm in the early 2000s in like the pre-Amazon age. They've got a little food court. Let's get some food. Uh, do you speak English? Rice. Rice, rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was $6. So I don't actually know what this meat is, but I know what the bread and the rice are. So we're gonna try those. Now let's go find that sports store. I'm just imagining trying to do this back when I was uh, walking around Europe. If I needed to go buy a tent, I would have needed to walk to this store out here. I would have needed to walk back with my tent. It is noon on a Friday and this place is a ghost town. This is why malls are dying. I found a knockoff Victoria's Secret. <laughs> here we are, find inflatable beds. Okay, we found the tents. We just gotta find the inflatable beds now. They have these foam ones and they also have these really big they, they, they're, they're halfway inflatable. You inflate half of them and they've also got this foam inside of them, but I don't think that's gonna fit on the bike. These guys are helping me find a store that has possibly more inventory. He pointed me in the direction of a place called Gigatron. It looks like they are about seven minutes away. When I was planning this, I assumed all of the camping supplies would be easy to replace. I think I might've misjudged that. You know what I could really use right now? Some sunscreen. Okay, we got ourselves another big mall complex. Yeah, I need sunscreen. I see two stores over there called Sport Vision and Planet Sport. Let's go check them out. Let's try Sport Vision first. It looks bigger. It might just be clothes, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I don't see anything specific for camping, though, like tents or anything. Okay, I guess we're going to the next store. We will put that on the back burner right now while we replace the deodorant and sunscreen. And maybe mosquito repellent. They're charging $13 for sunscreen. Well, I guess we've got to purchase it. Actually, the spray stuff is only $7. Deodorant is only a dollar. That's cool. Now we've just got to find the mosquito repellent. She's helping me find it. $8 for a can of mosquito repellent. God damn it. Okay, now we've just got to deal with the inflatable bed. We're going to go ahead and use the deodorant right now. I just realized I went to the wrong mall. Uh, apparently there's more than one Gigatron here, and I went to the wrong one. The place I'm supposed to go is 10 minutes away. Before we head out, I'm gonna put some of that sunscreen on. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to rub it in or I'm not sure how I make sure that I've got like full coverage. A kid just recognized me from TikTok. Say hi. Hi. You're gonna be in the next video. You guys are never gonna believe this. My whole kickstand just broke off. God damn it. I'm having such a bad day. Well, I guess positive side, it's not squeaking against my wheel anymore. Actually, while I'm riding this, I actually do think there's something wrong with my bike. Like my, do you guys know what alignment is on cars? Like, I don't think my tire is aligned with my steering. Like this is my steering wheel straight, but my wheel is turned to the right right there. Like I need to hold my steering wheel like this to go straight. I think when I got in the crash yesterday, it broke my alignment. Ugh, after twisting it a little bit, I think I got it fixed. Let's see if this is something I can fix myself. Okay, yeah, I fixed it. I. I don't like how easy it is to change the alignment though. I was able to do that with my hands and my knees. I literally just got recognized again by another random person on the street. Yes, this looks like the place he was trying to send me to. If I had to guess, I would assume this mall is doing much better. I don't have a kickstand anymore, so we're just gonna have to lean the bike against the pole when we lock it up. Check it out, there's a bunch of e-bikes. I'm not the only person with an e-bike anymore. So this is gonna sound conceited, but this actually happens a fair bit where I go to a place and then I end up getting popular on TikTok to the point where people are recognizing me everywhere on the street. And I personally don't like that because I feel like everybody knows where I keep all of my stuff. They know where I keep all of my everything. 
if people watch me on TikTok and then they see me in real life, I'm much more likely to get everything stolen. Like random people on the street, if they try to rob me, they would not know like that I keep my security belt right here. But people that watch me on TikTok definitely do. We also need to find another kickstand. Extrasports.com. I think this is the clothing store. God damn it, where do people buy their tents from in Serbia? Let's try this place called Sports Vision. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I found a sleeping bag. I'm not gonna lie, my opinion of Serbia is quickly diminishing. I can't even buy a simple camping bed. Why is it all of these sports stores just sell clothes? Have I mentioned to you guys recently how great Walmart is? Okay, this store is literally called Outdoor Sports. There is not a place that would sell a tent better than this. They have the foam mats. Of course, this place called Outdoor Sports does not sell it. What is this country? You know, I'm starting to see why they stole it. This shit's rare. We're gonna try one more store, and if we can't find it, we just give up and we sleep on the ground. I think the kickstand might have broken off because of the crash yesterday. I think that might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm not optimistic that this next store will have it either, but we're gonna try. I actually saved it so that when I go into the store, I can bring it in with me and I can have the length so I know that I'm getting one that's long enough. And you know what? If we're lucky, which we're, which we're not, but if we're lucky, the store might also sell kickstands. We might be able to get the kickstand and the inflatable bed at the same time. This place is like right next door. That's cool. Here we are, a place called Sport Hub. They look like they might have a kickstand. I'm gonna lock my bike up against this yellow thing right here. Not having a kickstand sucks. If this works out, I still wanna visit the Skull Tower today. Way smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, see, something like this would be good, something that is extendable. And look at that, it's only like $8. Um, it definitely feels lighter than my last one, so I think that this is made out of like aluminum. I guess it was $8, so that would make sense. They don't have any camping supplies though. You know, I didn't even check if this fits, or if this is like universal, or nothing. I checked nothing. This might not even fit. You know, if nobody gives me grief for working on my bike right here, then I can be pretty sure that somebody could sit here and try to hack away at my lock for like hours and nobody would call the cops or anything. This is the controller that powers the motor that goes from the battery to the motor. And here we are, there's the bolt that we need to take off to get the kickstand out, I think. I'm gonna go see if they have an Allen wrench that's big enough to fit inside this. Okay, I don't have a tool big enough to fit inside this bolt. It's too hard. No, you got it a little bit, you got it a little bit. Oh, at least we got it in. I miss working on my car. I can tell that that guy has never actually tried to fix something before. He wasn't even screwing it in the right way. I had to go up there and tell him like, no, no, righty, right, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. And then he starts screwing it in the right way. I appreciate him wanting to help though. Ah, uh, doesn't this look so much more flimsy than the last one? <laughs> oh God. Okay, I got it attached. I'm really dubious of how long this is gonna last. This is you and this is who she tells you not to worry about. Okay, let's put some weight on it, see how she works. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the length, see if we can't make this a little bit easier for it. God damn it. Well, it's the kickstand we've got, so it's the kickstand that'll have to do. Yeah, this kickstand is almost worthless. I wanna point out that this is totally my fault. I thought I would be lucky and pick up a bike stand at a sports shop rather than going to an actual bike shop. If I want a good kickstand, I need to go to a place that services specifically bikes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a place called Planet Bike. So I guess I just wasted $8. Here we are, Planet Bike. Just to see how bad this kickstand is, let's see if the bike is still standing when I get back. They definitely have bike supplies. Yes, mine just broke. I tried to buy a cheap one from a store over there and it's like an aluminum peg. Oh, perfect. Well, uh, the thing that I'm using right now is basically an aluminum pole. I wanna see the bike. Yeah, no, it's not great. It's not a great kickstand. <laughs> We should also probably pick up some new pads while we're here. This one was like 30 bucks. Do not cheap out on bike hardware. Let's put the bike up against the wall while we work on it. Now we get to undo all of the work that we just did. I will say though, having my kickstand break in a big city is kind of useful because I could not buy something like this in a small village. Okay, this guy. There we go. That was super easy to install. Okay, let's give it a test. It is still pretty long. Um, Okay, so that is the mechanism, but it is super stable, so fantastic. Lastly, I think that we're going to check our brake pads. 
uh, possibly change them, but at least check them. If you have hydraulic brakes, this will be a different and more painful process. Yeah, let's go get some more brake pads. Even if these are fine, I still want to have an extra one on hand. We need to find the brake pads. Uh, I think it's these guys. New brakes for the front and back cost $20 flat, but I'm not going to change my brake pads yet. It's just good to have them on hand. Putting them back on is pretty easy. Luckily, the brakes on my bike are almost exactly the same as the brakes on my car. So I actually did know how all of this works. Okay, there we go. Let's take her for a test run, make sure everything still works. Ah! Everything seems good. I'm not sure where this leaves us. I did want to go visit the Skull Tower today, but I think that's out. It's like 5 p.m. already. Yeah, getting the kickstand up is going to be something I have to learn how to do. I'm looking at places to spend the night, but now I'm worried that wherever I go, I'm going to book it, and then I won't be able to store my bike somewhere, and my shit's going to get stolen again. I found an apartment for 24 bucks a night. I think that's what we're going to do. That is now three countries I've been robbed in. Let's see if I can put a pin on every country in the map. This is where the hotel is, or the apartment. It's basically on Main Street, where all of the people are, which means if I leave my bike out, everything is getting stolen. Do you guys want to go to a Serbian casino? There's uh, ATM machines lining up this wall, which makes me think that all of these places are just basically feeding cash into them. Okay, now I just gotta get, find a way to get my bike in here. I'm gonna use my shoe to hold the door open. Come on. My bike is not fond of stairs. Okay, I'm considering just canceling this and going to a regular ass hotel. There's literally nobody here. I don't know which room is mine. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh -huh. I a lot like this. <sighs> Close this goddamn door. Okay, so I booked this place for two nights so that tonight I can relax because I've had a, just a heck of a day. But that means that tomorrow we have the entire day to do touristy things. We can go to the casino, we can go to the Skull Tower. I can just leave my bike locked down there and I don't need to worry about it getting stolen. So we can just go walk around town. And then on my last day here, we can possibly try to look for another sleeping pad or I can just sleep on the ground going forward. But uh, yeah, two nights and then we're hitting the road again. I just want to point out, the fridge is cold. Like how hard is that? How hard is it to keep your fridge cold? I saw a freezer. Ooh, I can keep pizzas in here. So to summarize what happened today, we gained a better kickstand and mosquito repellent, but we lost the inflatable bed. That's not too bad. We also got some extra brake parts. So all in all, I'd say we came out a little bit ahead, assuming that we can get an inflatable bed. Um, you guys want to see something cool? So I'm trying to lock my bike up right here, but it doesn't really fit anywhere and I don't want to block the entrance. So we're gonna fold the bike in half. This isn't a feature that's all that useful in practice, but every now and again, it does come in handy. It's not super useful all that often, but it is able to make a big bike fit in a tight cubby hole. And then we just chain it to the frame. This is especially useful if you wanna take your bike in like the trunk of your car. It's too big to fit unfolded, but if you fold it up, you can you know, put it in your trunk. I wanted to go to like one of the restaurants here or just like one of the food stands, but I got to this first, so this wins. I really just want to go home and lie down. We're also getting some rice cakes. Rice cakes are good. Look at this, they've got it cold. I don't need to drink warm Coke. How cool is that? Look at this, they put all of their Mentos in anti-theft containers. Who's going around stealing Mentos? I'm just gonna have her help me open it. Oh, thank you. I forgot the Mentos, but she brought them for me. I wish America worked more like this. You see how all of their, there's like businesses on the first floors, but right above them are all of the apartments. People live in the same place that all of these places work. I think that America would be a lot more efficient if we did that. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for the vlog. I'm gonna go home, edit this, and then die. Good morning, everybody. Today's video is gonna be short and sweet because I'm taking a day off. I'm exhausted, my body is sore, like all of my muscles, like all of my legs are just like spaghetti right now. So we're not gonna do anything interesting. We're just gonna eat some food. Yeah. The only reason I'm making a video at all is because I've got a streak of like 10 days right now and I don't want that to go away. So you guys get a boring video. How do I open this one? I need two hands, I guess.
Actually, let me go back in there and just check on my bike real quick. I forgot to look. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Good. So it's my day off. I want to splurge. I want to go find a Turkish restaurant and get some llama June. Oh, check it out. We found a place. I'm not sure if we'll actually have the food we want, but this says it's a Turkish restaurant. So let's go. Having your apartment here on like the main street is kind of cool because you don't need to walk very far to get to any of the cool things. There are a bunch of restaurants here on the side street. We're looking for ones that have a pizza oven because that's what you need to be able to make the llama June. I'm not sure why, but restaurants like this always intimidate me. The ones that have like the seating out in the middle of the street. It always makes me feel like they're just crazy expensive. Like it's the fancy rich people that eat at places like this. I found a place that has pizza. Let's see if they have, uh, can I get a slice of this actually? I gave up pretty quickly when I asked them if they had Lama June and they said no. So we just got uh, Canadian bacon pizza. If any of you guys know any places here in the city that actually sell Lama June, let me know. I will go there. Mm. They asked if I wanted any ketchup or mayonnaise to put on my pizza. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead to the supermarket and get some Diet Coke. Oh, hey, we're going to do some currency exchange. I still have some euros left over from when I was in Europe. Euro? Thank you. I will need euros again in the future once we get to Kosovo because they don't use the same currency as Serbia because Kosovo is its own country. But right now we need Serbian money. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting flashbacks to Turkey and like Istanbul. Like this place definitely has a lot of Turkish influence. There are so many places to gamble here. That store has just the strangest things locked up. Like they've got super glue and batteries locked up. Who steals super glue? People in this country steal the strangest things. Now we get to spend the rest of the day rewatching Game of Thrones. I've been seeing a bunch of clips from Game of Thrones on my For You page and it makes me want to rewatch it. This place has air conditioning too, which is pretty neat. Oh my God, I had an epiphany. I realized that if I want to be able to get that uh, Turkish pizza thing, all I need to do is go on the online delivery app, look for restaurants that sell it, and then go there. Like I don't actually need to order delivery, but I can use this to look at places menus. I cannot find a single restaurant here that sells it. And there's like hundreds of restaurants on this thing. I guess we'll just get pizza. $12 to have a large pizza delivered right to us. How great is that? I believe that's our guy and it looks like he's coming here on foot. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a nice night. Look at how big this pizza is for $12. I can just hear people in the comments complaining that I should be going out to restaurants and trying local food and not eating pizza. It's my day off. I don't care. I asked them not to put mushrooms on it. They don't even cut the pizza here. I noticed that is that cutting pizza is something that they expect you to do. I don't have a pizza cutter, so I'm going to try to use a knife. Pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, sorry guys, I fell asleep again. I've been sleeping all day today. Um, but normally I would edit my video just sitting here in the apartment. Instead, I think that we're going to go to a bar. We're going to go to a bar, we're going to get a little drink, we're going to end the video. We're going to see what happens tonight. I don't actually have a problem with bars. I'm fine if I've got like a reason to be there, if I'm there with friends. If I'm not just like loitering, hoping that like maybe something happens, like I'm gonna be editing a video, I'm fine. I have no problem with the bars right now. Just had another person from TikTok recognize me. Hi. <laughs> cool. Thank you. This looks as good as any. Okay, it's not actually a bar, it's a coffee shop. I fucked up. Uh, but I'm still gonna work here, so. I am pretty sure I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm like a magnet for coffee shops. I literally tried to go to a bar and I still ended up getting a cappuccino editing my videos. So you're gonna unedit this video and put this. Can you put this? Yes, okay, Thank so. Thank you so much. Yeah, another person just recognized uh, me. What's up, guys? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is our 10th day in Serbia. We still don't have a bed and we still have not visited the Skull Tower. Sorry, I'm trying to get my bike down some stairs. Ah! My bike is super not fond of stairs. Okay, so goals for today are tower, bed, and then we can leave. Tower, bed, leave. The tower is only like seven minutes away. We need to get tickets, which I'm pretty sure are somewhere in the neighborhood of like $3.
There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, so less than $3 for the ticket. Now, before we go in there, I want to tell you the story about this place. This place is over 200 years old. Back in, I guess, 1809, the Turkish people, they ruled all of this area. And the Serbians, they weren't very happy about that. They tried to rise up and they got absolutely slaughtered. The Turkish people, they took some of the soldiers and they literally built a tower out of their skulls. This was supposed to tell the rest of the Serbian people not to rise up, but it ended up being a rallying point. This was so atrocious. The Serbians actually did revolt. Hundreds. There are only a few left right now. Yeah, the Turks built that in an attempt to get the Serbians to stop revolting, but that just uh, inspired them to fight even harder. You know, in hindsight, that might be why I couldn't find a Turkish restaurant here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still dreading having to figure out where we're gonna buy another bed from. I looked online, apparently there's a store called Decathlon here, uh, but on their website it doesn't show, seem like they sell it, so. What I was thinking is maybe I could get one of you guys to help me, somebody that is able to actually order things online and have them delivered to a physical address. If one of you guys happens to be along my path and you can order things online, you could order the inflatable bed to you, and then I could pay you and then pick it up while I'm driving over there. I'm thinking we might just leave Serbia and head into Kosovo. Emphasis on the leaving Serbia part. I haven't eaten yet though, so we need to get some food, uh, possibly some Diet Coke, and then I think we can head out. There is a little about a mile away. It is important to know that I am a libertarian. I won't get into the specifics of what that actually entails right now, but for the purposes of this conversation, uh, it means I believe that the government can go fuck itself. If you're not hurting anybody, you should be allowed to do what you want. If the people of Kosovo say that they are their own independent country, they're not hurting anybody, the Serbian government can go fuck itself. I just got recognized again, and uh, the Serbians are not gonna like the things that I'm saying. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure we were here the other day when we were trying to shop for that bed. I can't fit my lock through that. I think we gotta go to that pole. There we go, got her locked up. Okay. Obviously we are going to load up on these hot dogs. These things are really good. I'm pretty sure this stuff is regular bread. I doubt it's full of cheese. I really hope it's not full of cheese. And we will get something for dessert. These uh, little croissant roll things, they are full of Nutella and they're really good. I also have no idea what this guy is, but that looks like banana, so we'll get him. There we go, food for the next day or two is covered. Let's see if they have Diet Coke. They have a bunch of regular Coke. Nope, no Diet Coke. We are gonna be waiting in line for like a half hour though. They have knockoff Tic Tacs. Eight dollars for the whole thing. I just realized that most of my audience is American, so you probably would not even know what's going on in Kosovo. <laughs> they skimped on the Nutella. Let's try the little banana cakes now. It's like a mix of peach and banana. It's really good. It's got some cinnamon in there too, so it tastes like one of those McDonald's pies. Luckily for me, I do still have something some socked away, but this is the only bottle I have left. It was in the fridge before we left, so it's cold. This is how it should have been, just like a big loaf of bread. This is what I want. I don't think that we're gonna head out until the sun goes down a little bit because this is brutal. So we're just gonna go chill out at a park somewhere. Find some shade. Oh, check it out. I wanted to show you guys. I've made an adjustment to the bike. You see this? This is my solar panel. Typically, before now, it would have been in this bag right here, and this bag was very heavy. It tried to fall off. It kept trying to tip the bike over. But moving the solar panel from this to this side will balance the bike out better and make the bag less heavy. So I think that overall, that's just a good change. It'll make it a little bit more difficult to set up and tear down the solar panel, but I think it's worth it. And now we've just got to go find a shady spot. Haha, <laughs> check it out. I found a shade spot. I have the solar panel held on with these carabiners. The battery is mostly charged, so this isn't gonna take very long. We're just gonna go set the chair up over here. This should be full by the time we leave. <clears throat> he just kicked me off, he doesn't want me on this grass. But rather than putting everything away while we're out there in the sun, I'm going to move it to the shade. 
I knew that shade would be hard to find. I lost my GoPro. Where the f I've decided that I do not like being in big cities. If you're gonna do this whole bike thing, try to spend as little time in big cities as you can. We're gonna park here for just a sec. Let me see if I can get this kickstand up with one hand. Perfect. Looking at the route to get to Kosovo, it looks like it's basically straight uphill. And the last part is like really steep incline. I think I'm gonna split this up into two days. That way we're doing 30 miles today and then 30 miles tomorrow. Fuck it. I know it's hot outside, but I am more uncomfortable being in the city than I am being in the sun. I fucking hate this. It's so hard to tell if you've actually got full coverage. The cream is so much better than the spray. Let's go. We're passing the apartment complex where I got robbed. Yay. Good memories. Another downside of big cities is you have massive traffic to deal with. We are now officially out of the city. I definitely did not get full coverage. I can feel part of my arm getting way hotter than the other parts. Fucking spray on sunscreen. I'm looking in my bag and I think I left my fucking headphones back at the apartment back there. God damn it. I fucking double checked everything. How could I have left them there? Who needs thieves when you've got my levels of competency? Haha, <laughs> take it back. I actually am competent. The sun is in my eyes and it makes it really hard to see. I found a gas station at the table, so we're gonna get a drink and then chill here until the sun goes down. What kind of drinks do they got? Hmm. Are you kidding me? Are we back to this zero Coke Zero bullshit? Well, I'm still gonna wait here, so. I really should figure out what my end game is. Like where I'm trying to go or what I'm trying to do. So far, I've basically just been riding to ride because I've got a bike. I kind of dig the idea of just riding around and exploring places, seeing things. The clouds are covering up the sun a little bit. We might be able to make some ground. Let's go. Like this is pretty cool. Even if I don't have any specific end destination, I'm enjoying this. It's doing that thing where it sends me down crazy routes again. Uh, this is pretty steep downhill. Where in the heck is this thing sending me? I think I'm just gonna walk the bike up this super steep cliff because if I slip and fall, that would not be fun. <sighs> Honestly, it's a nice view. We still have a ways to go, but it looks pretty good from up here. Even with the bike walking itself, it still takes a lot of work to manhandle it and like keep it on track and keep it from falling over. I think I'm okay to ride again. Okay, there we go. I feel so much better. It's hot outside. Finally made it to a road. <sighs> Holy fuck. Oh. At least we can go faster on the main road so the wind will like help cool us down. Woo! So much better, holy shit. There's some dogs that are off their leash and the neighbors are escorting me up past the property. Fish. Fish. Are you kidding me? My camping chair. Where the fuck did it go? You remember how I said I'm enjoying myself? I take that back. I'm losing everything. 
That camping chair is also really rare and I won't be able to replace it. God damn it. I'm not bringing my bike back down that mountain to go hunt for it, so it's gone. I should definitely figure out a supply run. Find somebody along my route and get some supplies from them. Replace all of the things that I'm losing. Then again, I'm not sure if Amazon shopping even works in Kosovo, so. I'm... Do you remember how I uh, moved my solar panel to this side because I thought it would make things more balanced? Well, apparently it was playing a vital role in keeping my bag attached because my bag just keeps fucking falling now. So we're putting the solar panel back in the bag. The bag now weighs three tons, but at least it'll stay attached to my bike. Fuck, I'm still pissed about that chair. Maybe these people will have Diet Coke. I should probably put a shirt on. No shirt, no shoes, no service. I'm not sure if that's a thing in other parts of the world, but I will put my shirt on nonetheless. Oh, beautiful. Okay, fantastic, I am so thirsty. I guess I just didn't put the chair back in properly when we were packing up when we got kicked out of that park. Yeah, so I've got two questions I've got to figure out. One, does Kosovo have online shopping? Like, can I pick some products and have them shipped to somebody in Kosovo so that I can pick them up later? And then two, is there somebody in Kosovo that I'm familiar enough with that I'm comfortable like meeting up with them and picking up supplies? I did notice that my brakes are a little tight. When I was uh, correcting my brakes before I, I put them on a little bit too tight, for now, even if I'm not using my brakes, there's a little bit of friction. So I got to loosen my brakes up a little bit. And we do that just by twisting this bolt right here. Oh my God, no, please don't tell me. I put it on backwards. I assumed it was just because my brakes were overheating because of all of the hills. But if I just put my brakes together wrong, I could have potentially killed myself. So we are going to take the whole brake caliper off and we're going to see if I put the pads on the right direction. Oh wait, no, okay, good, I did it right. I just had them on a little bit too tight. We're good. Do you see this hole right here? I'm not sure if this comes across on camera, but it's a little bit of an oval. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to align it towards like in the center of this pad. I didn't do that right. Okay, got it reassembled. Let me go test it. Oh yeah, feels much better. What do we have for food? We have a nougat, or we have a, we have a Nutella thing. You know, I'm pretty sure Lidl is the closest thing Europe has to Walmart. Oh hey, I found some pups. You guys know what that means. Where did those little pups go? It's okay, I got food for you. Yeah. No, 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 just one. Just one. Eat. And, no, just one. Just, ah, pups, no! Okay, well you've been fed. No, this isn't food. It's, it's vitamins. You can only have one. Oh, I think I might have made a mistake. Remember, if you guys are interested in picking up vitamins for your dog, the link is in the description. <sighs> okay, I think that we're ready to hit the road again. We've got like 12 miles left before we get to the river. More really steep uphills. He wants me to bring this up there. Fuck me. I'm gonna try just picking up my bike outright. <clears throat> yeah, there's no way I'm getting my bike up this. We're just gonna reroute and find another path. Like, look at this. I'm literally walking through a fucking jungle. Look at how narrow the path is before you fall off the fucking edge. Luckily, roads are pretty contiguous. There's gotta be another route somewhere. Are you kidding me? Do you see this? This is a perfectly good way to get there. We're gonna completely miss all of that bullshit. And it should have just routed me this way to begin with. God damn. Yep, we're back on the route and we skipped all of that bullshit. This app is so stupid sometimes. So yes, there's a river here. It's pretty deep. Do you guys wanna see if we can camp by? I think that there is another one if we keep going. Big deep breath. <gasps> Just look at this. It feels like we're in the jungle.
So I've been to Thailand before, back in like 2019, and this looks so very similar to the jungles in Thailand. Okay, pause, I gotta show you something. Uh, let's just find a place on the road to pop off. If you guys have ever sat there and wondered, hmm, I wonder what countries like Serbia do with their trash when they're done with it. Let me show you. This is a burn pile. Some of it's still on fire. Oh my God, it smells so bad. Oh, there's just a mountain of trash on fire here. It's not all that unique. I'm sure every country burns their trash. Just not that close to the road. Like that's what landfills are for. You know, I just realized without my inflatable bed, I don't have a pillow either. Check it out, I found a river and there's a dirt road down there, which means there's a way for us to get to it. I think we found our campsite. We just need to find out how to get down there. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably it. We're going dirt bike mode. Yeah, look at that. We could even be bridge people if we wanted. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can bring my bike down there or if a tent will even fit. I could just camp like sort of adjacent to the river. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. I could just park slightly adjacent to the river and put up a tent, but I want to be like on the banks of the river. We'll see if there's a better spot later on. We're following that river for a while, so I'm sure there'll be more access points. Hey, I found, there, the river's right over there and I found a dirt road. Let's give it a shot. Um, dirt road might have been a stretch. I'm just gonna park the bike here and uh, break a path myself. I was able to clear a path. I think I can bring the bike through here. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to another reason why jeans are great. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can find a place to set up camp. I guess this looks like it's probably the best place to put up the tent. Let's go knock everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting the tent up. I think I got a spot cleared for it. God, I miss my inflatable bed. I'm not certain, but I feel like it's gonna rain, so I should probably set the tent fly up too. Yeah, the mosquitoes do not seem to care about the mosquito spray at all, at all. Okay, actually, I think I take it back. Maybe this mosquito repellent is working. We are out in the woods by the water. I don't think they're actually biting me. I think they're buzzing around me and I can hear them and it's annoying, but I don't think I'm getting bit. Like I can feel when I'm getting bit. I don't think I'm getting bit. It'll be a moot issue soon enough. And then the rain fly on top. I'm gonna keep this part of the rain fly rolled up because I do still wanna see the river. I'm gonna do something crazy you guys have been asking for for a while. I'm gonna drink water. This right here is a life straw. It's got a series of filters in here to be able to take water like this, clean it up and make it safe for drinking. I purchased it uh, thinking that I might be in a situation where I don't have access to stores, but I do. So I've had unlimited Diet Coke. I do wanna try this though. I wanna like actually get my money's worth. So we're gonna fill up a Coke bottle with water and then filter it with the straw. Oh, there's fish in here. Now, conveniently for me, this actually has the same size as a regular Coke bottle does. So this screws right on top of the lid and makes a nice tight seal. And then, okay, let's do it. I'm drinking Serbian river water. Looking at the weather report, it's gonna rain for like 12 hours. So everything on the bike is coming inside the tent. Okay, the bike has been stripped. Everything on this is now perfectly fine to get wet. I did actually decide to move my bike away from my tent so that if it does get windy and this thing decides to, it's not gonna kill me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this might be the coolest night of this entire trip. Sitting in a rainstorm next to a river, drinking fucking Serbian river water. Uh, this is a, ah, no, that's a plant. Okay, you're good. This is a vibe. 
I think that means I'm gonna wait to upload this until the rainstorm has at least started so I can show you guys what that looks like. You know what would make this perfect? Having a fucking pillow. Oh, hey, we still have food. <laughs> what do we have? Oh, we have a bread. And we have some hot dogs. And we have a Coke. Holy shit, I forgot a, oh my God. Fuck that river water. Should I be worried about bears in here? Is having food in my tent bad? I'm not gonna lie. This right here was the was what I was envisioning when I set out on this journey. I wasn't imagining sleeping in fucking farms. This is how I thought it would go. I thought I would have a bed. Oh, I want to read. I'm going to get a book. Huh. Update. It was just uh, made clear to me that if it rains and the water level of that river rises, my tent will be flooded. Looking at the signs from around the riverbed, I don't think it'll go above that lip right there. I think that we're probably safe. The forecast says that the rain will come in two bouts. The first bout will be from like 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. or I guess 12 a.m. and then the next one will be from like 4, p 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. to where we get two rains. That's better than one long duration. I can't imagine I'll get flooded. No way. Yeah, I take back every bad thing I've said about that mosquito repellent. It's magic. I'm able to keep this open without any problems. Whatever that stuff is, they hate it, and I'm happy. Ugh. Fuck it, it's getting dark. Let's go put the rain fly down and get ready to potentially get flooded. Come on, river, I'm trusting in you. I still think this is just the funniest thing, the way that their ventilation works, this little, this little nook. Somebody wrote a comment the other day. They're like, hey, so me and my whole family, we love watching your videos, but you swear so much. Would you please stop swearing in your videos? What makes you think this is like a family friendly channel? It's not. God damn it, this is so cool. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do, I think. I'm just not gonna sleep until the first bout of rain stops. So until about midnight. And we're gonna see what the water level looks like. If everything looks fine, if it's just, you know, regular rain, we'll stay here. But if the water level comes up a lot after the first bout of rain, I think we will <laughs> begrudgingly pack up the tent in the middle of the rain and then move it over. It'll be miserable, but I think that's what we're gonna have to do if the water levels do rise. I got my jacket right here ready to go. I think all we do now is wait. I had an epiphany. I realized I can use my clothes as a pillow. I brought them inside so they don't get wet, so I might as well use them to like put my head on. I am exhausted. But I'm gonna keep waking up every two hours to check the water level of the river. Oh, good morning, everybody. We did not get flooded by the rain. The river level is still nice and low. Our bike didn't tip over. And one of the coolest things, I'm able to keep this open without mosquitoes flying in here. Like, last night was fantastic. I didn't even need the bed. This was soft enough, I had a pillow. Last night was great. This is gonna be our last day in Serbia because Kosovo is about a two hour ride from here, but we're not in a rush, so we might as well sit here, wait for everything to dry off because, well, it rained last night, everything is wet. Yeah, if we put this away now, this would probably get mildewy. I'm sure the mosquitoes will be back soon. They're never gone for long. Good morning, everybody. I will start loading things back up into the bike that don't need to dry off, like the battery. The water level did not go up all that much at all. I'm not sure why I was so worried. We still have like a whole bunch of dirt. It could have rained for a while longer and we still would have been fine. I don't have any Diet Coke left, so we are stuck with filtered river water. You know what, this ledge actually looks like, it. yes, it is a good chair. Look at that. Go away, plant. Last night was super cool. I was exhausted. The sound of the rain just put me to sleep. I kept waking up like every three or so hours because I was afraid I was gonna get flooded by the river. I wasn't. I am gonna add another bit of mosquito repellent though, just to stay on the safe side because I fucking hate mosquitoes.
Yeah, it's still a little bit wet, but I do want to get going. The sun's coming out. And honestly, riding with the sun in your face is just a bitch, so I want to minimize that as much as possible. Looks like the inside was way more wet than the outside was. I'm just going to let the rain fly hang on top of my bike upside down for a little bit to dry off. But I also notice it's like perfectly bike shaped. If I need to cover my bike without like taking my stuff in my tent, I can just take the rain fly, stick it on the bike, and this is like a perfect shape. Meanwhile, we can start taking the main body of the tent apart. Get out of here, spider. After last night, I am not as concerned about getting another inflatable bed. Last night was perfectly fine. I used my clothes as a pillow. My sleeping bag is comfortable enough. I'm good. If I find one, I'll take it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to find one now. You know, I'm just now remembering that it's supposed to rain again. Let's get the bike out of here. Come on, weeds, let go. Let go. We just gotta pull the bike back through the brush and then we should be back on the road to get to Kosovo. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can beat the rain. We've got maybe 30, 40% battery left, so we should get to a coffee shop soon. These hills are merciless on the battery. Yeah, we have 30 miles to go before we hit Kosovo. <sighs> okay, this hill is too steep and my battery is close to dying. I don't wanna kill my battery going up one hill. So we're just gonna walk it up. So uh, something interesting, you guys might hear that biking is a lot more efficient than walking, uh, but that's only true if you're biking on a flat plane. Like if you're biking on a track or if you're biking on a road, using a bike is much more efficient than walking in terms of energy consumption. That changes when you increase the incline. I think past like a three degree incline, it becomes much more efficient to walk because your legs are built for going up and down things, whereas bikes are built for just coasting. I am literally in first gear right now. These hills are fucking merciless. God damn. Yeah, I've just been walking my bike for the past like half mile. I'm kind of grateful that it decided to take me on this back road rather than the main fast road back there, because if I had to walk my bike on the fast road, that would suck. Whew. It is chilly. Whew. Okay, I think we made it to the top of the hill. It looks like it's all downhill from here, at least for this stretch. Oh my God, I, this is so fucking pretty. <laughs> I like going downhill much more. Yeah, downhill is way more fun than walking the bike uphill. <laughs> Holy shit, we just hit 40 miles per hour. That's the fastest I've ever gone on this. Whew. There's a town right ahead of us and I'm pretty sure there's a coffee shop here somewhere. So we should be able to charge the battery up and then we won't need to walk anywhere because the battery can handle the hills. I have no idea how people did anything before Google Maps existed. I was wrong, there's more hills. And my battery is dead, 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 dead. So we're back to walking. The coffee shop is 1.4 miles away. Once we get to where it's flat, I can just ride it, but I can't ride this thing uphill without the battery because of how heavy it is. See, when your car runs out of gas, you have to just leave it there. When your bike runs out of electricity, you can still ride it or walk it. That's a perk. Oh, I take it back. I guess I can ride it uphill, just very slowly. We're walking again. There are a whole bunch of cops and military people here. Like a whole bunch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Disco Cafe. Okay, got it locked up. Let's go check for outlets. I don't see any outlets. We got one. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of quaint. I like this. Whenever I do this, I make sure to charge up the three batteries first. The bike battery, the inverter battery, 
and then my laptop battery. I am pulling about 300 watts from the wall right now. I like getting cappuccinos because it's the same in every language. And as just a cool little perk, the cappuccino is less than a dollar. Okay, but I was looking through the menu and I see that they have an option for a milkshake. It's written in English, so I know that I can say it and they'll understand. I want to try what a Serbian milkshake tastes like. Can I get a milkshake? Milkshake? Uh... You know, I'm realizing now that this currency is not going to do me much good once we get to Kosovo. So I should probably spend it. I think I've got like 30, 50 bucks worth of currency here. They've probably got currency exchanges somewhere. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks fantastic. The whipped cream is really good. I think it's raining outside. I might need to move my bike. I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit. Like this stuff is the stuff that needs to stay dry. That stuff can get wet. Yeah, we're good. I just want to make something clear for you guys. Do you see how it says premieres in 46 minutes? People in the chat right now, they're upset. They're like, why aren't you just uploading the video right now? Just post the video. Bro, it's uploading, 37%. While we're premiering it, it's just letting you guys know, hey, in 45 minutes, the video will be uploaded. I can't make this go faster. Apparently, it's going to keep raining for the next several hours. Battery is done charging. We can head out. Well, we would go, except it's still raining outside. Yeah, it's going to be raining all day long. Yeah, I'm not really sure what our options are. Uh, we can't really ride in this because everything will get soaked. We can't camp because the ground is already sopping wet. I guess we could try to find like a hotel or an apartment, I guess. Like it's not raining that hard, but it's enough that we would be soaking wet by the end of the trip. I haven't had a Snickers in a minute. <laughs> I am going to move a little bit though because it feels weird to just wait in front of the coffee shop. Hmm. Oh my god, I found a place for $26 a night. Look at this. Look at this. That is a bathtub. And it's right up the street. It's only three minutes away. Hi, puppy. You look super mangy. Doesn't matter. Found a dog. Feed a dog. <laughs> yes, hello. You get one little vitamin. No, I don't want to touch you. I'm sorry. Oh, he's eating it. Good. Yeah. He doesn't look all that healthy, actually. So maybe the vitamin will do him some good. Uh, I think food will do him some good, too. I don't have any... Yes, I do. I have hot dogs. I can feed you. Yeah. And then bread too, I guess. We have to wait for the host to respond to us. Otherwise, we'll just go there and nobody will be there to open the door for us. So we still get to wait around until they message me back. And they said that they are not at the apartment right now, but they can be there in an hour. So, well, instead of going to a restaurant, I guess we can eat some uh, little hot dogs. These things hold really well. I've had this in my cart for like 24 hours now. Fine. You can have half of it. There's so many dogs around here. That one's still over there looking for more hot dogs, I suppose. I guess I got to give this guy a vitamin too. Remember, if you guys need dog vitamins, link is in the description. There you go, guy. It's not a hot dog, but it's still, you know, good. You guys might think that I actually get paid every time I talk about them. I actually don't. I don't get any money from talking about them. I think I need to leave now because the dogs are swarming me and it's making everybody look at me weird. Look at that. We did not need to go far. We got him. Get in the bag. I found shelter, but I know that the dogs will get me again if I stay here. So I might need to just keep moving. You know what? The rain has stopped. Let's go to a restaurant. I don't think this is the one I was trying to go to, but it will work. At least I think it's a restaurant. Oh, I guess it's a bakery. With some like pizza. Yeah, I take it back. We're gonna find a real restaurant where we can get real food that's warm and hot, or at least warm. This looks like a place that has food. 
I'm not sure if we seat ourselves or if we wait to be seated. There's nobody in there, so I'm gonna sit down and see if like a waiter comes out to talk to me. You guys ask why I never try traditional foods. It's because of this. I don't understand how the restaurants work. Like I don't understand how any of this works. We've been here for 10 minutes. I don't think waiting is gonna work. Like in America, there are really two options. There's either somebody standing at the front of the restaurant who will take you to a seat, or there's somebody behind a counter who you give your order to. Like, there's none of that there. There's nobody behind the counter. There's nobody that'll take your, there's nothing. I have no idea how to get food here. Maybe it's just that one restaurant. Maybe other restaurants will be more understandable. Okay, they definitely sell food here. There was somebody here, they spoke just like a little bit of English. They told me to take a seat. Reading the menu is actually not hard. I'll just use Google Translate. They've got a thing on that you can just like point your camera at it and it'll scan it in real time. Google Translate's fantastic. Yes, thank you so much, thank you. So yeah, we're gonna crack open Google Translate and then it'll just, so yeah, cheese bun, ham and cheese, bacon cheese, uh, bolognese, bologna, half portion. I think that we are gonna get the bologna pasta because I think what that means is beef spaghetti. I think that that, I think bologna pasta means beef spaghetti. But I know what happens when I make assumptions, so I'm sure I'm gonna get something totally different coming back from the kitchen. I definitely want to look into a way to get warm because I don't have anything that can keep me warm on my bike. I'm wearing my jacket. Oh, I guess I have gloves. Yeah, let me get the gloves out. Get in. Why are my gloves kind of damp? Oh, I guess they were sitting, yeah, okay, I can, I can see why they're damp. They were, when, when I was parked at the cafe, the back of my bike was a little bit out in the rain, and so it got a little bit... A little bit wet. I forgot to record when she came over here to order, but I'm just like, can I get the bologna pasta? And she's like, bolognese? I'm like, yeah, that one, <laughs> bolognese. I'm not sure if my cell data is gonna work when I'm in Kosovo, because I got the plan that works for Serbia, and Kosovo is its own country, so I'm not sure if my cell data will work. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, hey, I was pretty right. Yes, that's spaghetti with meat and a lot of Parmesan. This bowl of spaghetti right here costs less than five dollars. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh my god, it's... Mm. Something I often find myself thinking when I'm in countries like this, this is super cheap, this is five dollars. But I'm sure for the people that live here, 500 Serbian money is a lot. So imagine tourists coming to America. You could easily spend 30, 35 dollars on a meal like this in America. This would absolutely bankrupt somebody from here. How do Serbians visit America. Like, how are they able to survive? They could blow their entire month's salary with like five meals in America. I think I finished that in like three minutes. Thank Keep the change. Guys. Okay, we've been fed. Okay, we have been fed. Now all we need to do is get drinks before we go to the apartment. Because once I go to the apartment, we're not leaving. We are gonna be reined in. Let's see if we can find a supermarket somewhere nearby. Wait a minute, I remember seeing a gas station back here somewhere. Yes, here we go. I'm sure this will have what we need. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I was right. Let's get a couple of them. One for tomorrow, too. You know, just to be safe. Thank you. Okay, now we can go ahead to the apartment. Oh shit, I forgot to drink the Diet Cokes we got from earlier. Well, now I have a bunch. At this intersection, take a slight right onto 16. Oh god, that spaghetti was fantastic. I am in a great mood. That wasn't even expensive. That was five dollars. We're here, but I'm not sure which house it is. <laughs> Look at that. We got our own garage to keep us safe from the rain. Um, hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm not there. I'm not kind of not English language, so I'm apologizing. No, totally fine. Uh, um, uh, early in the morning, I'm heading over to Kosovo. I just I'm don't sorry, want to get rained on. Because yep. my parents won't not be there. Is, there. is that the problem? Yep, no, perfect. That's fine. Yeah, this is massive. I'm just by myself, so this is huge. Uh, the guy who owns the apartment, he uh, he's not here, so he had his parents let me in. They don't speak English, so the mom was just like pulling my arm while she was showing me this place. This place is huge. This place is for like, if, if you've got like 12 people, there's a bedroom, there's a bedroom back here. Where's the bathtub though? That is what we care about. Investigate. Oh, this is slick. Invest it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, and it works. Holy shit. I haven't seen one of these in forever. We gotta hook a GameCube up to that, get some melee. There's a stove. Oh, there's a deep freezer. With tomatoes. 
Where's the motherfucking bathroom? Oh, uh, oh my God. <sighs> Beautiful. So in Europe, if you want hot water, you gotta like actually turn the hot water heater on. They don't just like leave them running like we do. It'll probably be like an hour or so before I'm able to use that. I'm not gonna lie, this place is really cozy. Airbnb is so fucking stupid. If you guys are coming to like basically anywhere, just use booking.com. Oh my God, and there's a washing machine here too. Fantastic. Oh my God, and there's a computer here. This thing looks like it's from like maybe 1998. I really want to just pull it apart and find out what kind of components are in Serbian desktop PCs. Intel Pentium, Windows XP, this is, this is old. I just had a thought. This place basically has a garage. Like, see, my bike fits perfectly inside here. But what I'm thinking is, while I have this garage, I might want to maybe extend my stay here by a night, but actually do work on my bike. I possibly want to bend this out and extend it so that my bag just lays right here. I think I want to clean it off because there's a bunch of dirt coming up through here. I don't know. I could possibly use this garage to actually do maintenance on my bike because I can't really do maintenance on my bike out on the side of the road. You guys need to see this. Look at how trusting this guy is. Look at all of this alcohol. This is probably, this is probably hundreds of dollars worth of alcohol. Or I guess like a hundred dollars in America. So like, this is like three dollars worth of alcohol. Okay, so update, there is a bathtub, but the hot water heater isn't big enough or fast enough to fill it all the way to where you get like a third of the water and you just wait. And then by the time it's cool, this thing is full again. So it's, it's not a very effective bathtub. I'm considering riding back to that restaurant and getting more spaghetti. Uh, I fell asleep again. We did not get more spaghetti. Whew. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't, we don't have Wi-Fi in this apartment, so I'm gonna use my cell data, but I'm gonna upload the video, give you guys two videos today. I will catch you guys tomorrow. We're heading into Kosovo tomorrow. You know what I'm pissed about? We got this entire apartment because it was supposed to rain for like all day long. I don't think it's rained at all, like since we got here. The weather report was wrong. No, okay, so the ground is wet, so it has rained a little bit, but not nearly as bad as I thought it would. I would tell you all good morning, but it's not a good morning. I am on the floor in the kitchen right now. This is my puke bucket. I am very sick. I think I have something called gastroenteritis. It's what you get from drinking dirty water. I don't think that that straw that I got on Amazon actually did the job it was supposed to do, and now I'm paying the price for it. I've been vomiting for the past like four hours now, except I don't have anything to vomit, so it's just dry heaving. I need to decide if I'm going to try to ride like this or if I should just extend my stay here for another night. Hey, I wanted to check if the apartment is booked for tonight as well. I need to move slowly. I'm also getting dehydrated, so I need to drink this. I'm not sure if I'll be able to hold it down. Okay, now that I've been up and about for a little bit, I feel a little bit better, I feel a little bit stronger. I'm still gonna take it easy. He was able to let me stay an extra night here, so we're just gonna rest for the rest of the day. Apparently the owner of this apartment, he's a doctor, and he's giving me tips on what I should do, like where I should go to the pharmacy and the things I should ask for. That's super cool. It's, I think, 3 p.m. We've been here for six hours. I feel much better. I'm not sure what that is. My comments are full of people telling me that it's not actually the water, that it's because of the bologna or because of the hot dogs. I have had gastroenteritis before. I used to build fences around farms. And there was one time where it was a really hot day and there was a stream running through the farm. And I thought, oh, it's so crystal clear, I'm gonna drink this. I drank it, it was beautiful. And then like 24 hours later, I was absolutely miserable with exactly the same symptoms that I have here. Like I've had this before, this is bad water. That means that the river that I drank from, there was probably farms upstream where the cows were shitting in it. I probably drank cow shit. As for why the filter didn't filter that out, couldn't tell you. I still owe the people who own this place rent. I negotiated rent, but I didn't pay them because I was like passed out in bed. We don't actually have any food here either. We just have Diet Coke. So I'm gonna go to the store and get some like fruit or something. The thought of eating anything like hard makes me still a little bit nauseous, but bananas sound good.
Okay, there's a store that sells fruit like seven minutes away. Fruit, I see bananas. Oh, fantastic. I'm not sure where the scale is. Let's see if we can find some apples. Okay, I found some apples. There's a slot here. Okay, this is about six dollars worth of fruit. We have one more stop we need to make before we head back to the apartment. We need to go to an ATM machine to get cash because I did not have enough cash to pay for this place twice. So we need cash. Oh hey, I found like a real supermarket. Let's check this out real quick. Look at this place. This place has some Granny Smith apples. Yes, please. We might as well while we're here. I also found some sour pez. That's cool. Thank you so much. We still need to go to an ATM machine, but now we have more food. It looks like there is one directly ahead of us. Yeah, we got one right there. A lot of the time you don't need your physical card, you can use NFC. It looks like this is not one of those times. They're charging me a fucking $5 fee. Okay, let's go sleep for the rest of the day. I'm proud of myself. I'm not feeling the best, but I was still able to accomplish that. It's a good day. We made it. God, I'm exhausted.